Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Abyss Invasion, I am in charge of Dark Authority. Chapter 91 But unfortunately, he still failed. He only saw a world full of dark fog. He suddenly zoomed in, and then seemed to see an endless dark land. But just like last time, before he could see clearly what it was, his consciousness fell into a blank. At the same time, in reality, the black shadow under his feet suddenly exploded from the two-dimensional world to the three-dimensional world. It suddenly danced wildly, but then stretched out violently. In the blink of an eye, it had reached the limit of 50 meters. But this is not the end at all, the eyes are still continuing. 100 meters, 200 meters, 300 meters. In the end, we came to a distance of 500 meters. A tenfold increase. Still a tenfold increase. The violent shadows danced like ghosts dancing wildly, full of evil connotations. But this shadow seemed to be somewhere between reality and reality and did not cause any damage. Even some shadows passed over the fishing boats in the distance. Some of the fishermen felt that their eyes were slightly dark, and they raised their heads in surprise. But most of them had lights on behind them, so they couldn't see far. In addition, the lights on Chin Jinian's ship were not lit, so they could not see this scene that looked like a dancing ghost. I don't know even more. If this shadow wasn't between reality and reality, their heads would have been chopped off by now. Well, it's so dangerous. The shadow dance lasted for about 10 breaths, then it was suddenly recovered and fell into silence. And Chin Jinian also woke up from his sluggish state. He was confused for a moment, but finally let out a long breath. What exactly do you see when you upgrade authority? He thought strangely in his mind. But ultimately, there are no answers. My mental power is only 100, which is still a bit too weak. I should be able to see it after my mental power increases. This was all he could think about in the end. Then, there was some excitement about sensing shadow superpowers. It seems to have become stronger. His eyes lit up, and he finally found a shadow tentacle. 100 meters, 200 meters, 300 meters. After reaching the limit of 500 meters, a satisfied smile appeared on his face. Still a tenfold increase. With a tenfold increase, the usability of this shadow superpower will be greatly improved. You know, the effective range of an ordinary sniper rifle is only 7 or 800 meters. Now, he is fully equipped with the ability to attack from a distance. As soon as he thought, a sharp shadow dagger floated in front of him. He touched it lightly with his hand, and the next moment, the shadow dagger turned into a black light and fell downwards instantly. Poof! Easily, the shadow dagger crossed dozens of meters of river and penetrated into the river bed. Easily, it dug a small hole more than 400 meters deep at the bottom of the river bed. Has your strength increased so much? Chin Jinian's eyes lit up. He had done a similar experiment before when it was only 50 meters away, and found that the force of the dagger became weaker the further it went down. At that time, it only made a small hole six or seven meters deep. But now, straight through. The sand and gravel on the riverbed are like tofu in front of the shadow dagger. This destructive power has not been improved by just a tiny bit. With a thought, the shadow immediately turned into black mist and dissipated, blending into the foot. Chin Jinian experimented with splitting radical numbers again. Sure enough, this time it was so densely packed that more than 5,000 roots split apart, as fine as ons. But the quality of each one is extremely solid, it can be empty or solid, hard or soft, thousand changes, myriad transformations. Even though Chin Jinian was mentally prepared, he still couldn't help but his eyes shining. The increase is 10 times. But the increase in real combat power is more than 10 times. Immediately Chin Jinian nodded with satisfaction, no longer looking at the shadow, but looking at the panel. There are more than 27,000 shadow points. The best thing is to upgrade shadow control by one or two levels. But after looking at the panel, he felt a little helpless. Stuck again. The plus sign behind shadow control disappears. Obviously, it's because the personality has been improved, but the mental power has not been improved. Thinking of this, he looked at the attribute points. There are far fewer attribute points than shadow points. He didn't have time to count how many corpses he had swallowed in the end this time, but the improvement was more of a shadow point. However, although the attribute points have not been improved much, there are still 5,487 points at this moment. Calculate it. 
Now to increase mental power by 1 point, 10 attribute points are needed. According to the previous rules, for every 10 points of spiritual power, the required attribute points will also increase by 1 point. With more than 5,000 attribute points, he can at most increase his mental power to about 300. It's probably too difficult to reach the limit. Forget it, let's ignore it for now. Let's upgrade the other two permissions first. There are still more than 27,000 shadow points, which is enough to upgrade both Shadow Devour and Dark Pupil to LV2 feet. At this moment, Chin Jinian no longer hesitated and directly added. Shadow points minus 1,000, you upgrade the base authority, Shadow Devour. Closing square bracket. Basic authority, Shadow Devour, upgraded successfully. Current level, LV, 2. Closing square bracket dot dot dot. Boom, once again, that world appears. The black shadow turned into black cloth and spread across the entire lake. Chin Jinian fell into a state of trance again. Soon after, he came to. I still don't see that world clearly. He shook his head and looked at the shadow under his feet. He did not immediately experiment with the changes of Shadow Devour. Then upgrade, Shadow Points minus 100, you upgrade the base authority, Dark Pupil. Closing square bracket. Basic authority, Dark Pupil, upgraded successfully. Current level, LV, 1. Boom, this is the first upgrade of Dark Pupil. That world appears again. Chin Jinian's eyes glowed darkly at this moment, as if the entire white of his eyes disappeared in an instant, leaving only pure black. This movement feels much smaller than Shadow Control and Shadow Devour. But after Chin Jinian woke up, he felt that the world in front of him suddenly changed dramatically. The world was still the same world, but under the night sky, he seemed to see wisps of unspeakable strange lights. These lights seemed to have some intervals, some were near and some were far. What is that? Chin Jinian was stunned, looking at the rays of light in the sky, not understanding their meaning. But he was just stunned for a short while and didn't think any more. Let's get to level 2 first. So he continued to upgrade. Shadow points minus 1000, you upgrade the base authority, dark pupil. Closing square bracket. Basic authority, dark pupil, upgraded successfully. Current level, LV, 2. He saw that world for the fourth time today but still only saw a dark land, and he fell into a coma. Still haven't figured out where that place is. When he regained consciousness and looked up, those strange lights in the sky became more and more obvious. This feeling is hard to describe, it's like, the world, in Chin Jinian's eyes, suddenly turned into, pieces. Very peculiar, also anomaly. After staring at the light in the sky for a while, Chin Jinian let out a breath and held it back temporarily. Currently, the three basic authorities have reached level 3, but except for shadow control, which gave him the most intuitive sense of becoming stronger, the remaining two the role of an authority is currently unknown. Chin Jinian looked at the remaining 24,450 shadow spots and pondered slightly. Level 1100, level 21,000. Level 3 will most likely require 10,000. There are still 24,000. Well, you can open a new authority and upgrade it to level 3. Reserve 10,000, and when your mental power reaches the limit of the current level, you can upgrade to Shadow Control. Thinking of this, he looked at the new authority. Currently only two authority are shown. A shadow body, a shadow armor. Chin Jinian's eyes traveled over the two new authorities, analyzing the specific direction of the authority from its name. Finally, Chin Jinian's eyes fell on shadow body. Taking a deep breath, Chin Jinian chose to open a new authority. Shadow points 10,000, open the new authority, shadow body. Closing square bracket. Comma, comma, it was around 3 o'clock in the morning when Chin Jinian returned the boat. Although he can now say that, the family is big and the business is big, dot but the 1,000 deposit can't just be waived, right? At around 3 o'clock, Ching Lake Park was also quiet, and some cleaners were cleaning up the mess on the road. Chin Jinian was walking on the road, but there was always a touch of excitement in his eyes. Looking at the panel, Chin Jinian, Vitality, 10.00. Spirit, 100.00. Own Authority, Shadow, Position, First Awakening 2. Cultivation, None. Basic Authority, Dark Pupil 2, Shadow Control, 
2. Shadow de Verulf. 2. Shadow Bodilf. 2. Dark Pupil. Peep into the pupil of the dark shadow. Your gaze can see through the fog of the shadow world and exempt you from all mental pollution in the dark world. Closing square bracket. Shadow control. You can control your shadow. Closing square bracket. Shadow devour. The shadow of darkness should feed on the flesh, flesh and spiritual energy of dark creatures. Shadow body. You can transform into dark shadows. Current attribute points. 5732.17. Current shadow point. 14227.23. Comma. Comma. This is Chin Jinian's current panel. When he looked at shadow body, there was a hint of excitement in his eyes, and the smile on his lips couldn't stop rising. What was his biggest weakness before? Isn't it just him? Without cultivation, he is too weak. But from now on, not anymore. Comma. He retracted his gaze from shadow body, raised the corner of his mouth with a satisfied smile, and left. Comma. Comma. When I woke up at Tong Muki's home the next day, it was already afternoon. The sun was shining brightly outside the window, and Chin Jinian stretched for a long time, feeling completely refreshed. In the past few days, because of Ning Ning's affairs, he basically didn't get much rest. Although his mental strength is 100, staying up for a few days will not have much impact on him. But sleep is still essential after all. Only after a good night's sleep can your brain be completely relaxed. For example, right now, he felt that his mind was clearer than ever before. Get up, wash up. After putting on his clothes, Chin Jinian was suddenly startled and glanced down. Quote dot dot dot, have you grown a little taller? Chin Jinian's eyes lit up slightly when he saw that the pants he just bought two or three days ago seemed to be a little too short. The physical manifestations continue. Looking at himself in the mirror, his facial features are relatively handsome, but his excessively thin figure and pale complexion make him look a little sickly. But I think it won't be too long before everything will be reversed. My mood suddenly became beautiful, and I was humming a song and washing my hands. Then Chin Jinian went downstairs, planning to worship at the Five Zhang Temple first. The breakfast shops were all closed, so he came to a small restaurant and ordered a few dishes. While waiting, Chin Jinian began to think about the next step. Ning Ning's matter has come to an end for the time being, and his practice has to be put on the agenda. First of all, the attribute points are definitely not enough. Even based on the tenfold improvement of each character, the limit of first awakening I is probably around a thousand. The current attribute points can reach up to 400 at most. The further you go, the more you will need. Dot not to mention, once you start practicing, your vitality will start to increase, then you will need even more. Although there are abundant aquatic products in Ching Lake, my catching ability has also been greatly improved. But if this continues, it will definitely have an impact on the aquatic product market, and people may pay attention to it. As the largest lake in Kandlan City, Ching Lake is also the largest aquaculture site. The whole river fresh food in Kandlan City comes from Ching Lake. In the past, Chin Jinian caught a large amount every day, but after all, it was only near Ching Lake Park, and the duration was not long, so it would not have any impact on the aquatic product supply of Kandlan City. But now the attribute points he needs have begun to increase dramatically. How many attribute points can a fish add to him? For a 50-pound fish, it's only 1 to 3 points. And how many big fish can weigh 50 pounds? More, after all, are less than 10 kilograms. Then each fish is between 0.1 and 0.3. In other words, under normal circumstances, if you catch fish weighing about 10 pounds, you will need 300 to 400 fish for 100 attribute points. But if 100 attribute points are converted into mental power, according to the current exchange ratio between mental power and attribute points, it will not even reach 10 points. If the mental power is raised to about 1000, it will even only be 1 point. Calculated in this way, if he wants to increase his vitality and mental power to 1000, how many 10 kilograms of fish will he need? Hundreds of thousands are not necessarily enough. Of course, with Ching Lake being such a large area, there must be enough fish. But you can imagine how much impact this will have on Kandlin City's aquatic products. According to Chin Jinian's current fishing efficiency, after he goes through it, others may only be able to catch some fry that he doesn't like. 
It's a shame if this isn't noticed. But, before, it was because I was too weak and Ching Lake was the safest choice, so I took this step. But now, Qin Jinian didn't gain much from this battle with the Zongyan sect, but he gained some understanding of his own combat power. At least, among superpowers, he is not weak. That is to say, when facing a spiritual superpower, he is still a bit restrained. But no matter what, he already has the qualifications. Qualification to leave the city. When it comes to where the most attribute points are, it is of course outside the city. The invasion of the abyss not only brought anomaly, but also caused huge mutations to the original creatures on the earth, turning them into monsters. At the beginning of the mutation, these monsters caused a great impact on humans at that time. Under the siege of anomaly and monsters, human beings almost escaped extinction. If it weren't for the emergence of superpowers and later super martial artists, there would probably be no human beings now. However, after years of breeding, monsters have already formed a huge scale that humans cannot ignore, occupying a large number of living areas that once belonged to humans. These current cities were rebuilt after humans stabilized the situation and paid a heavy price to kill the monsters. Those cities in the past have all become paradises for monsters. These monsters possess the power of a super martial artist and are extremely numerous. Waves of beasts form at every turn, besieging human cities. In fact, every once in a while, there will be news about some cities being attacked by beasts. It is not uncommon for some of the weaker cities to be destroyed. Because among monsters, there are also scary ones. No weaker than Anomaly. Today's Earth has almost formed a situation where humans and monsters confront each other. For example, the main battle targets of most super martial artists are not Anomaly, but monsters. When he realized that Shadow Devour could devour the flesh and blood of ordinary creatures, Chin Jinian's first reaction was to go out of the city and find trouble with monsters. Monsters with powerful bodies must be an excellent source of attribute points. But he was too weak at the time, and this idea was once dismissed by himself. But now, it's time, he let out a breath. Eat first, then go to Chao Wu League to buy something, and then. When the meal was served, Qin Jinian ate it with great gusto. Super Martial Arts Alliance. The full name is, Super Martial Artist Alliance. A very large transcendent organization that is semi-official. It is also the largest transcendent organization in the entire Great Shaw. Because, almost all Great Shaw Super Martial Artists will join the Super Martial Alliance. Dot dot dot. Of course, superpowers can do it too. Well, actually it is not appropriate to describe the Super Martial Alliance as an organization. Rather than thinking of it as an organization, it's better to think of it as a platform. A transcendent platform spanning the entire Great Shaw country. One sentence to explain what the Super Martial Alliance is. It's similar to the Martial Artist Alliance and Mage Alliance in previous world novels. But a modern version. Poor in literature and rich in martial arts. Super martial artist is a very expensive profession. Various genetic medicines, super martial arts, mental techniques, visualization methods, weapons and equipment, etc., are all extremely expensive. Therefore, a super martial artist also needs to make money. But how to make money? For most super martial artists, there are generally four ways to make money. The first, of course, is to join the country's transcendent organization. Like a night watchman or something like that. But the threshold for this path is extremely high, and they only recruit geniuses. He also demands a clean family background. The disadvantage is that it is very dangerous. After all, it is a national organization. We will go wherever there is danger, and we cannot refuse. But the benefits are also obvious, having various privileges. As for the treatment, just look at Ning Ning and you will know. The second way is to settle for the next best thing. If you cannot join the country, then join the transcendent organization specially hired by large and small consortiums and companies. To put it bluntly, they are the thugs and bodyguards of rich people. This kind of treatment is completely based on personal ability. If you are strong enough, the treatment will be far better than that of a national organization like the Night Watch. After all, everyone understands the power of capital. But if the personal ability is not good and just barely meets the standard, then the treatment will naturally be far inferior to the first type. The third way is to join the military. This is the most in demand. 
This world not only contains anomaly, but also monsters. There are also many strange and dangerous situations. In this case, to maintain the long-term peace and order of a country, the military needs a large number of effective forces to join. Therefore, there are no restrictions on the military's participation. Don't say you are a super martial artist. Even if you are an ordinary person, if you apply for the army, you have a chance of passing. After joining the military, there are of course many benefits. First of all, there will be a steady supply of various transcendent resources. Although most of them require military merit to be redeemed, as a professional soldier, you will naturally be paid. The level of this salary also depends on the individual. If you accumulate enough military merit, your level will be promoted quickly enough, and your salary will skyrocket. But the shortcomings are also obvious, that is, lack of freedom. The military is a place where orders and prohibitions are strict. Especially when the level is low, they often stay in the garrison or war zone for a year or two, and have to carry out military orders every day. Most super martial artists cannot stand this kind of control. The fourth way besides this. Just join the Super Martial Arts Alliance. As the largest transcendent platform in Great Sha, Chao Wu League has a large number of tasks related to transcendent. Tasks are issued not only by individuals, but also by officials, such as night watchmen, the army, etc. The rewards for these tasks are very generous. The most important thing is freedom, and there is no requirement to disclose your identity. For this reason, the Super Martial Alliance has become the vast majority of super martial artists who are unwilling or not qualified to join an official organization, are unwilling or not qualified to work as thugs for rich people, and do not want to go to the army. The best choice is, when they join the Super Martial Alliance, and become one of them, they can freely take on various tasks in the Super Martial Alliance, and then wander around in various dangerous situations, and finally exchange their blood and sweat for rewards, and then in the Super Martial Alliance the Alliance purchases various transcendent resources to strengthen itself. Comma. The original owner had some knowledge of the above. Lu Wen and Zhou Yuan also gained further understanding. Kanglin City's Chao Wu League is located in the city center. It was already around 2 o'clock in the afternoon when Qin Jinian came to Chao Wu League. Looking up, you see a huge square in front of you, and in the middle of the square, there is a huge building. The painting style is different from the surrounding office buildings and residential buildings. This is a huge ring-shaped building, with at most five or six floors, but each floor is extremely high. From the outside, it looks like a huge egg upside down on the ground. On the top of the egg, there are five characters written in big words, Super Martial Artist Alliance. Chowu Plaza can be said to be the most popular place in the city center. Not only are there a large number of Chow martial artists, but there are also many young people who look like students. Chin Jinian blended in among them without any outstanding features. When you walk into the Chow Wu League, the first thing you see is a huge screen. There are lines of text flowing down on the screen. The text is in different colors and represents various tasks. Different colors represent different difficulties, and also represent the threshold for accepting tasks. In addition, there are ATM-like machines everywhere in the lobby of Nuo University, these are the machines that accept tasks. Chin Jinian glanced around and saw many super martial artists who looked extremely powerful. These people were dressed in ordinary clothes, but they had an air of demeanor that was different from ordinary people. Much like those on the black market. Well, let me interrupt here. The black market is almost equivalent to a smaller dark version of the Super Martial Arts Alliance. For example, those bounties and so on are all copied from the Super Martial Alliance model. However, there is naturally no bounty list here in the Super Martial Alliance. After all, Great Shaw is still a stable capital with a strong official presence. It's not like you can do things like buying and killing people openly. After watching curiously in the lobby on the first floor for a while, Chin Jinian took the walking elevator up to the second floor. Immediately I saw shops one after another. There are a variety of products in the store. There are all kinds of clothing, backpacks, swords and weapons, and even a bookstore that specializes in selling super martial arts. Naturally, a genetic pharmacy is also indispensable. Chin Jinian came here this time to buy the blood removal potion. He already had the technique, it was taught in school when he was a freshman in high school. 
but if you want to practice cultivation, you also need blood moving potions to cooperate. Super Martial Arts First Layer Realm, called Blood Channeling Realm. As we all know, the reason why super martial artists are powerful is because they have mastered the power of psionic energy. But that spiritual energy, as a companion to the abyss invasion, is a quite violent force. The body of an ordinary person simply cannot bear that kind of power. The only result of absorbing spiritual energy rashly is to explode and die. A superpower has a superpower core in his body. After the spiritual energy enters the body, it will be absorbed by the superpower core once, converting its violent characteristics and becoming gentle. Not only will it not hurt people, but it will also nourish the body, so superpowers are born he is more powerful than the super martial artist, and he is also born with the ability to use psionic energy. But what should ordinary people do if they don't have a super core? There is only one way. Train your body to the point where it can withstand spiritual energy. This is the function of the blood removing potion. Stimulate the blood with blood moving potions and make the blood violent, simulating the situation when psychic energy enters the body. Coupled with special movements, the medicinal properties in the potion are absorbed, the blood vessels and meridians are strengthened, and finally, it can withstand violent spiritual energy. Therefore, the first layer realm of Chowu is called the blood channeling realm. But simulating spiritual energy entering the body is a step-by-step -step process. Considering the level of psychic rage is 10, there will naturally be a process from 1 to 2. It was 10 when it came up, and the man exploded immediately. It's not spiritual practice, it's suicide. Of course, the above is an analogy. In fact, once you have completely completed the third blood transfer, you will be able to withstand natural psychic energy. However, the cultivation level of a super martial artist is determined based on the strength of the spiritual energy in the super martial artist's body. The more spiritual energy in the body, the stronger it is, which means that the higher the cultivation level, the stronger the combat power that can be exerted. However, there is no super core in the body of the super martial artist, so he cannot spontaneously convert violent spiritual energy into gentle spiritual energy and can only bear it by force. The higher the cultivation level, the more spiritual energy accumulated in the body, and the more violent the spiritual energy becomes. Therefore, moving blood three times is just the beginning. The prerequisite for every subsequent improvement in cultivation is that the number of blood transfers must keep up. The more times the blood transfer is performed, the stronger the meridians and the like will be, and can accommodate more and more violent spiritual energy. Why is blood channeling realm the most special realm? That's why. This is a realm where a super martial artist needs to practice for a lifetime. As long as you want to continue to improve your cultivation, the blood channeling realm must keep up. Otherwise, if you rashly improve your cultivation level, all that awaits you is death by explosion. In comparison, superpowers are much stronger. Because of the existence of the superpower core, after violent spiritual energy enters the body, it will naturally be converted into gentle and controllable spiritual energy. As you can imagine, this is what an advantage. Although the psionic core also needs to be upgraded, the more times it is advanced, the better the quality, the stronger the superpower, and the higher the frequency of psionic conversion. But compared to the super martial artist, the super martial artist can indeed be said to be unique. No way, this is talent. Moving blood is to look at ways to let ordinary people have similar talents from another perspective. Although the gap is still very large, at least it gives ordinary people the possibility of having transcendent. There is only one technique in the blood channeling realm, and that is the 13 blood channeling techniques created by martial ancestor 400 years ago. This is the only way to remove blood. After practicing to the extreme, you can complete blood removal 13 times, enough to make the strength of the human body's meridians reach an incredible level. Chin Jinian has superpowers, but the legendary superpower core strangely does not appear in his body. Therefore, if he wants to practice cultivation, he still needs to follow the path of a super martial artist. 13 blood removing methods, each blood removing practice requires corresponding medicines. From, type 1, to, type. The school will provide genetic medicines below, type 3, free of charge. As long as you meet the cultivation conditions, you can go to the teacher to get them. Each person is limited to one bottle per week. Four bottles a month, 
is pretty good. You know, blood removing potions are not cheap. Comma. While going through this information in his mind, Chin Jinian had already walked into a genetic pharmacy store. The clerk greeted him enthusiastically and asked him what he needed. Chin Jinian saw the blood removing potion on the display stand at a glance. Blood removing potions, especially low level blood removing potions, can be said to be one of the best selling genetic potions. Any genetics pharmacy has a large inventory. It was a light red liquid that looked crystal clear. It was packaged in a strengthened glass bottle that looked very strong at first glance. It looked very similar in appearance. However, the label on the bottle has the words, type 1, type 2, type 3, written in bold letters, so there is no need to worry about confusion. There are also selling prices below. Type 1, is priced at 4,888 yuan. Type 2, price, 9,888 yuan. Type 3, price, 13,888 yuan. There is also a, type 4, model next to it, and the price has soared to 48,888 yuan. It is indeed too expensive to look at. Now you know that the school's supply of four bottles a month is quite good, right? Even for the lowest level, I, type, the monthly subsidy is close to 20,000 yuan. Many ordinary families cannot afford it. Not to mention the subsequent, type 2, and, type 3. 10 bottles of each type 1 to 3 blood moving potion. Chin Jinian thought for a while and then spoke directly. Okay, please wait a moment. The clerk responded and packed it for him quickly. Sir, your potions have been packed. You have spent a total of 286,640. The clerk's calculation made Chin Jinian's eyelids twitch slightly. More than 280,000. This is called poor literature and rich martial arts. Gene Pharmacy, a place like this, I really don't dare to go shopping if I don't have any money. Sir, do you want to apply for a membership card? There is an event now. If you recharge 1 million at a time, we will give you an additional 100,000 as a gift. In the future, you can enjoy a minimum 95% discount when you come to our store to make purchases. The clerk enthusiastically recommended the membership package. But Chin Jinian shook his head after thinking about it, forget it. Let's pay. Okay. Although the clerk was a little disappointed, he did not promote membership anymore. However, while paying Chin Jinian's bill, he still introduced quickly, do you need transcendent level cell gene? This is the latest transcendent level drug launched by Alpha Pharmaceutical Company. It has greatly improved the practice of blood removal. Taking one pill can greatly improve the efficiency of blood removal and restore the feeling of fatigue. New products are currently on the market with huge discounts. One bottle only costs 18,888. It is very cost effective. No need. Chin Jinian waved his hand. The clerk changed several sales items in succession. It sounds like Chin Jinian is a little big headed. What kind of transcendent level cell potion, what kind of mental recovery potion, there are a lot of them. And they're all expensive as hell. The salesperson said it was very cheap. Chin Jinian took out the mobile phone of Chin Yi paid the money, and left quickly. Can't stand it. After buying the potion, Chin Jinian walked around on the second floor for a while, and felt that his horizons were broadened. But in the end, he did not go to the third floor, but left the Super Martial Alliance directly and returned to Tong Mu Chi's home. After arriving home, he looked at the row of red potions on the table and let out a breath. My mind began to recall the practice method of blood removal. After a while, I made sure nothing was missed. He let out a breath and looked at the blood-removing potion on the table. Let's start. He took off his shirt, revealing his thin body, and picked up a bottle of type 1 potion. The shadow entanglement came up and turned into a sharp clip, easily opening the sealed bottle cap and pulling out the cork. Then Chin Jinian swallowed the potion in one gulp. Gulu. There is a slight sweetness in the entrance, and the taste is not bad. After putting down the empty bottle, Chin Jinian made a strange posture, and the case was waiting. But only about a minute later, a hot feeling began to rise from his lower abdomen. But just two or three minutes later, the heat suddenly turned into a stream of heat, surging all over his body in an instant. His face turned red in an instant, and he felt as if his whole body was on fire. Chin Jinian looked like a red prawn. An amazing amount of heat radiated from every part of his body. 
This kind of physical discomfort made Chin Jinian feel uncomfortable. He felt as if the blood in his body had turned into boiling water and filled his body. He felt extremely uncomfortable, but in his mind he was recalling the method of practicing the 13th blood movement technique. I saw his back suddenly stretched out like a big bow, his legs appeared to be in a jumping position, his waist was supported, his hands were stretched forward, and his palms were on the ground. During this process, the steaming heat seemed to move his whole body. Accompanied by bursts of crack, sounds of joint beating, he opened his posture and began to breathe according to the method taught by the 13 blood removal techniques. But when I first started practicing, I was really not used to it, so my breathing was disordered several times, because breathing must match the movements, and the movements stretched the body to the limit at this moment, making it difficult to breathe. In just a short while, he was already sweating profusely and his eyes were a little red. The blood-removing potion continued to exert force, making him feel as if a ball of fire was burning inside his body, as if it was going to incinerate all his internal organs. On the skin, there are sections of bulges and depressions, as if something is scurrying under the skin. Waves of tearing pain came from everywhere in his body. Chin Jinian hissed lightly, knowing that the violent blood had torn the blood vessels and meridians. However, the potency of type 1 medicine is still relatively weak, so it will only hurt but not really damage. It's like a strain situation. But soon the power of the potion will flow into the wound, treating the injury while strengthening these parts. And when he swallowed the type 1 medicine, his body only felt hot for a while, and it completely disappeared within 10 minutes, without any other reaction in his body. That means that his first blood removal was completely completed. He thought to himself, and then began to perform various strange movements. These movements, combined with breathing, could ensure that all parts of the body could be exercised. It was not smooth at first, but as he kept summarizing his experiences during the practice, Chin Jinian gradually found some feelings. But the tearing pain all over his body also made him feel extremely uncomfortable. But you can only persist. This practice lasts for an hour. After an hour, the last bit of hotness in the body disappeared. Chin Jinian knew that the medicine had worn off. Then he took a long breath and slowly straightened up. With this movement, I felt a completely different feeling than before. The muscles and bones seemed to have an indescribable sense of fullness. He looked at his arms. They were still the size of a thin dog. But he could feel the explosion, power within it. But he knew that this was just an illusion, his own power had not been improved. What was improved was his physical strength. This can be visually confirmed from the panel. Dot the vitality is still 10, without any improvement. Over the next day, some of the remaining medicinal power will be gradually absorbed by the body, further repairing and strengthening damaged blood vessels and meridians. The practice of blood channeling realm can be done once a day. Because if you do it too often, it will be dangerous. Because the damaged blood vessels and meridians are likely to rupture directly under the second impact of the drug. This is a blood vessel. It is directly broken and causes internal bleeding. Just think about how dangerous it is. So most people practice once a day, or even every two to three days. To ensure that the body is in peak condition. Although Chin Jinian has a panel and superpowers, he has no plans to act too hastily. Take it easy. Seeing that his body was covered in sweat, Chin Jinian let out a breath, but did not go to take a shower immediately. Instead, he planned to wait until the sweat on his body had soaked through a little. He picked up his phone, sat down on the single sofa and started scrolling. Comma, comma, Tongmuki community has nine buildings, nine buildings. In the Tongmuki community, a pretty girl wearing Lolita clothes and holding a lollipop in her mouth was looking around for something with her neck raised. Many people passing by saw her, their eyes lit up, and then they subconsciously turned back. Because the girl is so beautiful. Big eyes, small mouth, delicate face, fair and tender skin, she looks 16 or 17 years old, wearing a white Lolita dress, with a pair of slender and gracefully curved calves exposed under the skirt, and white calves under her feet. Leather boots, full of elegance and liveliness, like a pretty princess walking out of a movie. However, the gazes of these passers-by did not attract the attention of this pretty princess. She was mumbling with a lollipop in her mouth, looking up and looking around. But after watching it for a long time, a bit of distress appeared on her pretty face. 
In the end, she had no choice but to take out her mobile phone and make a call. Ta-ta, how are you? The call was quickly connected, and then a clear male voice came from the other side. Brother Xiaoqi, I arrived at Tongmuki community, but I can't find where Judong is. Um, just count along the buildings. I counted, but one moment it was one building, and the next it became 27 buildings. I was completely confused and didn't know how to count. Ta-ta answered truthfully. Quote dot dot dot. I told you to ask someone to come with you, but you still haven't done it. Oh, turn off the video and I'll tell you how to leave. Oh, after hanging up the phone, the video was sent and she clicked to accept. A handsome guy with a clear appearance appeared in the video. Brother Shouchi, Ta Ta shouted, switch the camera and let me take a look. Oh, the camera switched, and soon, a clear male voice said, did you see a canteen on the right? The canteen, well, I saw it. Well, walk to the canteen and turn right. Oh, Ta Ta did as she was told and arrived soon. Then what? Go straight. Um, okay, stop. Look to the right. Ta Ta looked left and right, then looked to the right, his eyes lit up. Brother Xiao Qi, I saw it. Building 9. Well, okay, go ahead and tell me when you're done. Sister Tong keeps asking. Okay. Tata responded and hung up the video. 1801, 18th floor. She muttered again and walked towards the building in front of her. Comma, comma, mom, don't worry, I'm fine, it's okay. In room 1801, Chin Jinian is answering the phone. The caller was the original owner's mother. I was just about to send a video when the call came over. Then he scolded Chin Jinian on the phone. From the night of the blood moon to now, in six or seven days, Chin Jinian has not made a single call. Chin Jinian had no choice but to listen. Just saying. There was a knock on the door. Chin Jinian was startled, who would come to the door at this time? But it's a good excuse to hang up. Mom, there's someone knocking on the door, maybe it's my classmate, ah, hang up first. I understand, I'll be back during this holiday. Okay, okay. After saying a few more words, he hung up the phone. Chin Jinian let out a breath, but after thinking about it, he really needed to go back to this house. He had stayed at home once in the past three months, and then he didn't dare to go back again for fear of being discovered. However, the original owner's mother came four or five times to help him clean the room and so on. But now he has enough confidence to go back, without fear of discovering anything unusual. Dong dong dong. Thinking about it, the knock on the door rang again. Chin Jinian came to his senses and was surprised. Who will come here? Didn't Lin Yun and the others move to the Night Watch community? Are you coming back to pick up something? Without thinking much, he responded, Who is it? Then he walked over and opened the door. Then, Chin Jinian was stunned, because there was an extremely beautiful woman standing outside the door. When he saw this beauty, Chin Jinian's eyes flashed with surprise because he knows. In Shangpu village, she was the person who had a direct conversation with the final believer. Who are you? Although Chin Jinian was startled in his heart, there was nothing abnormal on Chin Jinian's surface. Instead, he was confused and asked hesitantly. The beautiful woman outside the door looked at Chin Jinian, tilted her head, and asked with a smile, are you Chin Jinian? As soon as she finished speaking, a strange ripple suddenly appeared in her eyes. The ripples were colorless, but in Chin Jinian's eyes, they were extremely clear. Invisible waves rippled, Chin Jinian's heart skipped a beat, and he suddenly understood something. Mind reading, to be honest, Chin Jinian was a little confused. He expected that it would be difficult for Lin Yun to lie in front of the night watch, but he believed that as long as Lin Yun did not speak and did not mention her prior knowledge of the Church of the End, the possibility of the night watch reading her mind was very low. Then the possibility of him being exposed is not high. But he didn't expect that, the night watchman would be so ungrateful. Actually bypassing Lin Yun and reading his own mind directly. Dark pupils passive only protects against spiritual pollution from the abyss, but cannot protect against ordinary spiritual superpowers. This has been verified in the Church of the End Station. Now, countless thoughts flashed through Chin Jinian's mind in an instant. But at this time, the panel refreshed. You are under the influence of the mental superpower, mind reading, authority, dark pupil, all mental pollution originating from the dark world will be exempted, 
other mental attacks, pollution, and erosion will be based on the multiplier of the mental power of you and the attacker, and determine whether it is exempt. The current level of dark pupil is 3, and the saving throw multiplier is 10. Closing square bracket. The opponent's mental strength is not 10 times greater than yours, so you are exempt from this, mind reading. Closing square bracket. The sudden text made Chin Jinian stunned for a moment, but he quickly came to his senses. Dark Pupil has been upgraded to level 2. His passive is immune to other mental superpowers. And the saving throw multiplier is 10. As long as the opponent's mental power does not exceed 10 times mine, the mental superpower will be ineffective against me. Chin Jinian's eyes widened. His current mental power is still 100, and he has not added any points yet. He plans to increase his vitality first after his cultivation breakthrough, and then add mental power to the rest. After all, before this, the only function of mental power was to maintain battery life, and there was a high probability that using up all attribute points would not be enough to stack mental power to the limit of the current level, so there was no rush. But I didn't expect. Dark Pupil at level 2 gave him such a big surprise. As long as the opponent's mental power is not 10 times greater than his, then the mental superpower will be ineffective against him. The role of mental power suddenly became important. Chin Jinian's heart was shaken. But soon, he realized that now was not the time to think about this. The next key is to deal with the girl in front of you. His mind was racing, and then he decided. Play dumb. Anyway, the other party's mind reading was exempted by me, so the other party may not. But before Chin Jinian could adjust the expression on his face, the girl in front of him suddenly blinked her eyes, and then suddenly smiled, Hello, my name is Tata. Nothing else, I'll come over to Ning Ning took a toy, and she asked me to say hello to her uncle Chin. Well, the task is completed. If there is nothing else, I will leave first. Quote. After saying this, before Chin Jinian could react, the girl smiled and nodded, turned around and walked towards the elevator entrance. This made Chin Jinian a little confused. It was not until the girl walked into the elevator that Chin Jinian suddenly came back to his senses. Then, his face became extremely ugly. Finished. Apparently the girl was completely aware of the exemption from mind reading. Chin Jinian covered his forehead, his eyes flashed crazily. Watching the elevator keep descending, I hesitated in my heart. Comma, comma. In the elevator, the girl quickly took out her mobile phone and made a call. Soon, ta-ta, Chin Jinian is probably also a spiritual superpower, and his level is not low. I failed to read minds. What? A clear male voice sounded surprised on the other end of the phone. But soon, he realized something and said, then you leave quickly. There is obviously something wrong with the other party hiding his identity as a superpower. I'm already in the elevator, but I don't know if the other party is following me. The opponent's mental power is very strong, at least much stronger than mine. Reading his mind feels like reading Sister Tong's mind. Dot the mental power entering the body is like a mud cow entering the sea, and there is no feedback at all. For example, if something happens to me, you, you should also be careful. Tata bit her lip and explained seriously. It's like explaining the aftermath. Don't say stupid things. You are the night watchman after all. He may not dare to touch you. I'll be there right away. The voice on the other end of the phone turned into a cold female voice. Sister Tong. Upon hearing this voice, Tata, who pretended to be strong, started to cry a little bit. Don't be afraid, it's okay, just wait for me. At the Night Watch headquarters, a figure has emerged from the sky and flew away in the eyes of many people in astonishment. Comma, comma. Chin Jinian didn't know that he had already scared the girl named Tata to the point of crying without doing anything. He was back in the room now. After sitting there for a while, he sighed with a helpless expression. Well, after going around and around, this superpower's identity was still exposed. Judging from the reaction of the girl named Tata just now, she obviously realized that she failed to read minds and then ran away decisively. Dot dot dot. There was obviously a misunderstanding. You don't think I'm a member of some evil church, do you? Chin Jinian thought in his heart. In fact, the exposure of a superpower's identity is not a big deal. After all, he is not a bad person, and it is not a big problem if he is exposed. What really made him uneasy was actually his origin. 
This was also the point that he had always resisted being exposed. After all, he is a transmigrator, and this world is a world invaded by the abyss. The exposure of the transmigrator's identity is the biggest reason for his uneasiness. Others are just incidental, but now, things have moved in a direction completely beyond his control. Not to mention that Tata is a night watchman, he can't kill anyone. Even if it wasn't, she was just an ordinary girl who accidentally discovered his identity, he couldn't do that. At least so far, all the people Chin Jinian killed were those he thought deserved to die. But now exposed directly to the eyes of the Night Watch. His eyes flashed and he fell into deep thought. After a while, I had already made a calculation in my mind. That's fine, I just can't find the reason. Thinking of this, Chin Jinian no longer hesitated. At a bit. After learning that the immune effect of level 2 dark pupil is linked to mental power, Chin Jinian will naturally not keep it anymore. Because this is likely to be related to whether his identity is, transmigrator, will be completely exposed. More than 5,000 attribute points were consumed. Mental power began to surge. Comma, comma, the waiting time always seems very long. The mental power has been increased to 350 points, which is expected has not reached the limit of the current level. There are only 82 attribute points left. Now, every time his mental power increases, he needs 36 attribute points. He has a mental power of 350, which means that a psychic superpower with less than 3,500 mental power can no longer hurt him. After feeling it, I felt more and more refreshed and full of energy. At this time, there was a knock on the door. Coming. Chin Jinian was shocked. Taking a breath, he stood up and opened the door. As expected, the person standing outside the door was the night watchman. The purple-haired woman and the girl who just knocked on the door. The purple-haired woman stood in front, and the girl who knocked on the door stood behind her, holding one of the purple-haired woman's arms with both hands, looking at Chin Jinian secretly. Ha, huh, it's you, what's the matter? Chin Jinian seemed surprised to see the purple-haired woman and the others. He was a little startled after opening the door, and then asked hesitantly. The purple-haired woman looked at Chin Jinian with inquiring eyes. Chin Jinian's eyes were filled with doubts. After a while, the purple-haired woman calmly asked, Should I call you Chin Jinian, or, Zhang San? Um, Chin Jinian looked confused, still pretending. The purple-haired woman asked with slightly focused eyes. I don't quite understand what you mean. Don't know. The purple-haired woman's pupil suddenly burst into purple light, and the next moment, a powerful force suddenly hit Chin Jinian. In Chin Jinian's eyes, he clearly saw an invisible wave emerging from the purple-haired woman's eyes, and then spread instantly. There was a look of shock on his face, but the next moment, a shadow turned into a barrier and appeared in front of Chin Jinian, completely blocking the invisible fluctuations. The purple-haired woman looked at Chin Jinian with a sure look in her eyes. But then, a hoarse voice sounded behind her. Is this the night watchman? Who would do this to innocent people? The purple-haired woman's expression changed, and she immediately turned her head, only to see a figure shrouded in black mist appearing at the end of the corridor. And then I saw, the shadow barrier blocking Chin Jinian's body spread out from under his feet. The purple-haired woman was obviously startled, and when she looked sideways, she saw Chin Jinian looking dumbfounded. You are, Zhang San, although the purple-haired woman was just testing, if no one took action or Chin Jinian didn't move, her attack would not cause any harm to him. But instead of explaining, she asked, It's me. The black shadow responded, and then chuckled. Speaking of which, the final thing this time is the information I provided you, right? No matter how you look at it, I'm not a criminal, right? Keep staring at me do what? How did you know we were watching you? The purple-haired woman did not answer, but asked instead. Zhang San shrugged his shoulders and said nothing. The purple-haired woman suddenly understood something and turned back to look at Chin Jinian. Chin Jinian seemed to have come back to his senses. After his expression changed for a moment, he lowered his head and whispered, I'm sorry, Brother Zhang, it's all because of me. It has nothing to do with you. If you hadn't found me this time, I wouldn't have been able to find such a good opportunity to borrow the knife. Dot but I got you involved. I'm sorry. Zhang San, chuckled slightly. Chin Jinian shook his head quickly. On that blood moon night, if it weren't for you, I would have been killed by Anomaly. This time, 
It's because of me that you let me. Sooner or later, that's all. Zhang San, waved his hand to signal Qin Jinian not to say anything further, then looked at the purple-haired woman and asked with a smile, aren't you night watchmen looking for me? I'm here now, what do you want to ask? The purple-haired woman frowned. The conversation between Zhang San and Qin Jinian seemed to have solved her doubts. Finally, he attacked Ning Ning. Qin Jinian happened to be Lin Yun's younger brother, so he knew about it. Then he discovered something was wrong during the surveillance, but instead of notifying the police or the night watchman, he informed a superpower he knew, that is, Zhang San. After Zhang San received the commission, during the process of investigating Ning Ning's disappearance, he found Zhang Yan's shadow, and the other party seemed to have a grudge against Zhang Yan, so he thought of borrowing the night watchman's knife to deal with the Zhang Yan sect. As for how Qin Jinian met Zhang San, it seems that Zhang San saved Qin Jinian's life on a bloody night. After a quick mental review, Dot the purple-haired woman felt that there didn't seem to be any loopholes in her logic. Lin Yun knew something, and Qin Jinian should have told her. Then Qin Jinian must have received Zhang San's advice, so he was unwilling to reveal Zhang San's information to them. Lin Yun felt that Ning Ning was saved and Qin Jinian and Zhang San had made great contributions in this, which was equivalent to a great favor to her. Therefore, they are not willing to betray them. So during yesterday's questioning, she came out to interrupt their questioning and cover for Qin Jinian. It seems that it can be closed perfectly. The purple-haired woman thought of a lot in an instant, and then she turned to look at the girl beside her. Qin Jinian's eyes saw ripples rippling out of the girl's eyes and falling on Zhang San. Exemption information kept appearing on the panel. Sensing the purple-haired woman's gaze, the girl swallowed, shook her head slightly, and looked at Qin Jinian next to her, which meant that she didn't read her mind, which was the same as Qin Jinian's situation. Little beauty over there, don't waste your mental energy. I suffered such a big loss the day before yesterday. How can I appear in front of a psychic superpower without making some preparations? Zhang San smiled softly. It seemed that he was trying to explain the confusion to the purple-haired woman. Tata swallowed his saliva and stood there obediently, not using any more superpowers. The purple-haired woman frowned, which could resist Tata's mind reading. Mind reading is a relatively rare ability among mental superpowers. Although Tata is a genius, he is still young after all and is only rank 3. It is indeed easy to fail to read the minds of some superpowers with strong mental power. Who are you? What is your purpose? Seeing that mind reading was useless, the purple-haired woman didn't hesitate and spoke calmly. Zhang San seemed to smile, and then said calmly, we are just ordinary people who want to live peacefully. The purpose is to live a peaceful life. We don't want anyone to disturb us, that's all. So you night watchmen don't have to focus on us. You should be able to feel it from this final incident, right? Although we are not good people, we are definitely not bad people. If you insist on saying, neutral and lawful, does this answer satisfy you? The purple-haired woman said calmly, if it is as you said, then why do you act so secretly? This is not a neutral and lawful behavior. I said, we just don't want to be disturbed and get into the eyes of your night watchman. How can we remain calm? Zhang San asked with a shrug. If you are really neutral and lawful, why are you afraid of getting into the eyes of the night watch? Or are you afraid that if you do something evil in the future, you will be immediately suspected by the Night Watch? The purple-haired woman refused to give an inch. Zhang San paused for a moment, then shook his head and laughed. Well, I really can't communicate with you. Forget it, you can think whatever you want. If there is nothing serious, I will leave first. Well, my little brother knows nothing about our affairs, so you don't have to embarrass him. I won't hide it from you either. I will continue to pay attention to him. If you night watchmen want to contact me in the future, you can actually through him. But if you do anything to him. After saying this, Zhang San paused for a moment, and then said seriously, we can be neutral and lawful, or we can be evil and chaotic. How to choose depends on whether someone forces us. Then, that's it. After saying this, Zhang San transformed into a black shadow and dodged directly towards the stairwell next to him. The purple-haired woman's eyes flashed, and without any hesitation, she flew out instantly and chased after him. In the corridor, only the dumbfounded Qin Jinian and the equally dumbfounded Tata were left. The two of them looked at each other speechlessly. 
The atmosphere was silent for a while, and the girl pursed her lips. Then she saw her rummaging in her pocket, and finally took out something and handed it to Chin Jinian. Eat candy. No, thanks. Oh, Chin Jinian refused, and the girl responded, a little disappointed, but she opened the package and put the lollipop into her mouth. Then there was continued silence. I don't know how long it took, but the elevator dinged and the purple-haired woman walked out of the elevator. She looked thoughtful. When the elevator opened, she came back to her senses, exhaled softly, and walked out. Then he looked at Chin Jinian. Chin Jinian also looked at her, looking a little nervous and wary. Zhang San is exactly the ability that Shadow Body gets after reaching level 2. Although it is not displayed on the panel, but just like the shadow, he used it naturally. He can split into a clone that is exactly the same as himself. The clone has the same abilities as the original. Dot but the effects of all abilities are halved. For example, the current limit range of my shadow control is 500 meters. The clone can only reach 250 meters. The shadow intensity and so on are not as good as the original one. Nature also includes life force and spiritual force. But fortunately, Chin Jinian himself is not a super martial artist. He mainly relies on shadow superpower to fight against enemies. Now the shadow superpower has reached level 2. Even if the effect is halved, it is still much stronger than in the black market back then. The vitality is different, not a big problem. The clone's existence time depends on his mental power. Based on his current 350 points of mental power, the clone can exist for 350 minutes at a time, that is, more than 5 hours, less than 6 hours. As for the distance between the clone, and the original body, there seems to be no limit. At least Chin Jinian hasn't found it yet. Just after upgrading yesterday, he used his clone once, and then let the clone go away from the original body to test the limit distance between them. In the last more than an hour, the clones reached the edge of the city, but there was no limit, it only dissipated naturally after the time was up. The avatar has no intelligence of its own and shares the same consciousness as the original. At first, Chin Jinian was not used to the sudden change of two visions in his mind. But later on, he became more and more proficient in controlling the clone to attack far away. Dot dot dot. In fact, it felt like playing a game. Two pictures appeared in front of him, and he could switch the main perspective instantly with a thought. It was still very convenient. In fact, as soon as the clone appeared, Chin Jinian already had many thoughts in his mind. But unfortunately before he could take action, the night watchman came to his door and read his mind without saying a word, causing him to be exposed. I have no choice but to deal with it temporarily in this way. Fortunately, I awakened my shadow body yesterday, otherwise I might have been completely exposed this time, leaving no room for relaxation. Chin Jinian thought in his heart. The current situation is actually acceptable to Chin Jinian. He is in an intermediate state between exposed and unexposed. If you think about it carefully, this may have a better effect than complete hiding. He was completely hidden before, which made him feel a little unable to do anything, because he had to be careful not to expose himself at all times. But now, this kind of alternative hiding allowed him to let go of many things. His thoughts were spinning. The purple-haired woman's voice sounded, Can you tell me about your brother Zhang? Chin Jinian came back to his senses, pursed his lips, let out a breath, bowed his head and responded according to the character he created, what's there to say? You've already guessed it, haven't you? He looks like a little brat who refuses to cooperate and has a tantrum. The purple-haired woman frowned, and then said, you know nothing about the other party's identity. I know nothing. Chin Jinian still tilted his head in an incooperative manner. The purple-haired woman looked at Chin Jinian who refused to cooperate and was a little silent for a moment. The sudden silence made the girl next to her a little nervous. While eating the lollipop, she observed secretly and did not dare to speak. After a while, Ta-Ta, the purple-haired woman greeted. Ah, Sister Tong, let's go, eh? After saying this, the purple-haired woman turned and walked towards the elevator. Ta-Ta was a little confused, but he responded quickly and followed. Couldn't help but turn around and look at Chin Jinian. And Chin Jinian seemed to raise his head in surprise. The purple-haired woman walked to the elevator and suddenly paused, then took out a business card from her pocket. 
The business card flew quietly, and finally landed in front of Chin Jinian, suspended there. Chin Jinian was in a daze, hesitated for a moment, and took the business card. This is my phone number, and it's also a social account. I'll add it later. Since your brother Zhang has introduced you as their contact person with our night watchman, I must be able to contact you at any time. After saying this, the purple-haired woman paused for a moment, and then continued, he saved your life, so I can understand that you are closer to him. But this person's behavior is mysterious, and there seems to be a bigger conspiracy behind him. Secret organization, what is their purpose, no one knows. But no matter what, having said this, the purple-haired woman looked back at Chin Jinian, I hope you can always remember one thing, you are human. After saying this wordlessly, the purple-haired woman walked into the elevator. After Tata was stunned for a moment, he quickly walked in. The elevator door closed and they left. Chin Jinian stood at the door stunned for a while, and finally let out a breath and looked at the business card in his hand. Just a name and a phone number. Zhang Yedong. Comma. Sister Tong. Are we leaving like this? Didn't you catch that Zhang San? In the elevator, Ta Ta asked. Sister Tong came back from her thoughts and shook her head. Instead of explaining anything, she asked, after we left, did you try to continue reading Chin Jinian's mind? Ah, Ta Ta was stunned when asked, do you still want to continue reading minds? I don't. Hearing this answer, Sister Tong frowned slightly. After thinking about it for a moment, she sighed softly, forget it. Currently, Zhang San thinks highly of Qin Jinian, but Qin Jinian doesn't know much about Zhang San. Reading Qin Jinian's mind shouldn't be a big gain. Is that so? Ta Ta muttered, and then couldn't help but asked curiously, but why can Qin Jinian resist my mind reading? Sister Tong seems to have the answer to this question. Zhang San should have been there when you read minds. He should have some kind of abyss spirit weapon on him, which can block the effects of mind reading and soul impact on a wide scale kind of superpower. Tata's eyes widened, is that so? Sister Tong nodded and said no more. After a moment of silence, he said, okay, let's talk to the Bureau first. We need to inform Bureau Chin about Zhang San's matter. It's been a troubled time. Tata didn't quite understand, but nodded anyway. The two took the elevator downstairs and returned to the night watch headquarters. L. After returning home, Chin Jinian reviewed the events of the past few days and finally let out a sigh of relief. So far, it has come to a complete end. Although it was unintentional, pulling Zhang San out was actually a good thing for him. Now his identity is that of an ordinary high school student, plus a liaison person on the surface of the mysterious transcendent organization. At least, that's how it looked from the Night's Watch side. Next, just practice hard strive to achieve a breakthrough in cultivation as soon as possible. His eyes flashed, comma, comma. The next day, Chin Jinian came to school early, but spent the entire morning lying on the table as if drowsy. Except for the team leader Chen Feifei, no one seemed to care about Chin Jinian's absence from class these days. Who would care about such a transparent person like him? Chin Jinian, who seemed sleepy to others, had two pictures in his mind at the moment. One picture is the classroom in front of me. And another picture. It was in a wilderness. That is, the image of the doppelganger. Candlin City, suburb. A black motorcycle was speeding silently towards the edge of the city. The rider was wearing a black knight's uniform and a black motorcycle helmet on his head, and his appearance was unclear. This motorcycle looks a little anomaly black, and even seems to have traces of black material drawing. But because the vehicle is traveling at high speed, even if someone sees it, they probably won't care too much, just think that the speed of the vehicle is too high. Fast, so dazzling. The distance from the city center is getting further and further, and the surrounding area is becoming more and more deserted. Continuous mountains are vaguely emerging, and trees are growing on the mountains and forests. The motorcycle kept moving forward until a huge steel city wall appeared in front of the rider's field of vision. Is this the Iron Dome? The rider looked up and saw the Iron Dome for the first time, with curiosity in his eyes. The Iron Dome, in other words, is the city wall. Every city has such a wall at its edge. Completely made of steel, it is hundreds of meters high and hundreds of meters thick. It is completely a ring-shaped steel castle that surrounds the entire city. 
A large number of thermal weapons are mounted on it. For a city as big as Kanglin City to build a steel city wall of this scale and protect the entire city in a ring, the amount of steel required is completely astronomical. If you think about it again, it's not just Kanglin that needs to be installed. In fact, there are hundreds of huge cities in Great Shah alone, and each city must install such an iron dome. Even if we dig out all the iron ore on the earth, it may not be enough. In fact, these iron ores are indeed not dug from the earth. But it comes from the abyss. The abyss invades, and naturally there are places that border the earth. For hundreds of years, people on earth have also been exploring the abyss. Dotton then discovered that the minerals in the abyss are richer than people on earth imagined. Those pioneers just casually surveyed the shallow part of the abyss that borders the earth and discovered countless minerals. Among them, iron ore is the most abundant, followed by gold ore, silver ore, and many minerals containing mysterious power, which are countless. This is why humans can be so generous and build such a huge, iron dome, on the edge of every city to fight against monsters outside the city. These iron domes were built one after another during the past four to five hundred years, and finally reached their current scale. The vast majority of Great Shah's armies are stationed in the iron domes of various cities. There are suspended magnetic trains running up there all the time, running every few minutes to ten minutes. Dual use for both military and civilian use. It is guaranteed that once a monster attacks the city, the army can arrive in any area to defend it in a short time. Of course the original owner knew this. After all, this is common sense in this world. But the original owner has never been to the site once. Therefore, seeing such a large-scale iron dome with his own eyes at this moment really made Chin Jinian feel like his eyes had been opened. Yes, this night, it's Chin Jinian, to be more precise. It is the shadow clone of Chin Jinian. His real self is currently in class 23, a senior class 23 at number. 5 middle school, a hundred kilometers away, sleeping drowsily. The clone came here. Yesterday, he planned to go out of the city to find trouble with monsters and gain attribute points. But yesterday I practiced for the first time, and then the night watchman came to my door again, which caused a delay. But now that the trouble on the night watchman's side has come to an end for the time being, it is natural to take action as soon as possible. Then letting the clone come over is naturally the best choice. Although the clone is only half the power of Chin Jinian, but with the intensity of the shadow superpower, it is completely enough. If there is any danger, the clone can give up at any time. It can be said that the safety level is directly maximized. Anyway, the original body and the clone are the same consciousness, and there is essentially no difference. The clone is a little weaker, but it can be resurrected infinitely. Just the fact that it can be resurrected infinitely is a magical skill that cannot be exchanged for a lot of money. At present, Chin Jinian's clone can exist for nearly six hours. It takes more than an hour to get here from the city center, and the next four hours can be used for hunting. He doesn't want monster materials anyway, he just wants corpses. And the corpse can be swallowed by Shadow Devour. It even saves time to return. When the time is up, just dissipate the clone. Just perfect. Well, if I had to find a flaw, it would probably be that every time a clone is split, the clone must be within a certain range of Chin Jinian. So you have to spend more than an hour traveling every day, right? But compared with the benefits, this shortcoming is obviously negligible. It just so happens that you can go for a drive every day and relax. Now he lives in a classroom in the city center, and hundreds of people can vouch for him. The clone can use superpowers unscrupulously outside, and it doesn't matter even if it is seen. The sky is as high as the birds can fly, and the sea is as wide as the fish can jump. This feeling of complete freedom and using superpowers without any psychological burden really makes Chin Jinian a little obsessed. Well, even if there is no purpose, the use itself makes Chin Jinian very happy. Looking at the Iron Dome in front of him, a smile appeared on Chin Jinian's face under his helmet. Then he took a breath and continued to move forward. Comma, comma, 20 minutes later, Chin Jinian had arrived in front of Tai Chong. Looking at Tai Chong from a distance was already very shocking. When we actually came to Tai Chong's feet, the feeling of shock became even more intense. Iron Dome is not a simple, steel wall. If I had to describe it, it is more like a long and narrow ring-shaped steel city. 
there are a large number of strange, capsule-like houses of different colors lined up on top of it. These houses are embedded in high and low iron domes. There are also a large number of people walking in the steel city-state. Many people carry weapons, swords, guns, everything. There are also some soldiers wearing military uniforms and armed with live ammunition, lining up to patrol among them. There is a sense of deja vu that the painting style has suddenly gone from a modern city to a future battlefield. The crowd suddenly became loud and there were many vehicles coming in and out around Chinjinian, most of them were jeeps. A huge entrance opened in the Iron Dome ahead. There were many huge elevators inside, and people were coming in and out all the time. In some elevators, there were even huge corpses, which were dragged out using special cars. Is this a monster? Chin Jinian was outside, curiously looking at a huge corpse that was passing by. It was a huge pig-shaped monster. It was extremely huge. It was lying on a special car. It was at least six meters long. It was covered with black hair. The hair was thick and hard, and it looked like solid armor. The huge pig head has a ferocious face, and two sharp tusks protruding from its mouth, two or three feet long. At this moment, its body was already covered with scars, including gunshot wounds and sword wounds. But the vast majority of gunshot wounds and knife wounds only broke a little bit of fur without even bleeding. The fatal injury was on its head, and most of its head was blown open by a huge force. It looked like an injury caused by a large caliber sniper rifle. It seems that special bullets attached with psychic energy can cause such injuries. Chin Jinian judged. Otherwise, with the physique of this pig-shaped monster, ordinary sniper rifles may not be able to shatter its steel-like bones. How many attribute points would it have after devouring such a huge corpse? Then, Chin Jinian licked his tongue, anticipation welling up in his heart. With a gentle breath, Chin Jinian's motorcycle melted quietly and turned into a black shadow, submerging under his feet. He himself walked towards the elevator ahead. But this movement shocked everyone around. Superpower. What kind of superpower is this? It can turn into a motorcycle. Where did the boss come from? Chin Jinian's action of directly causing the shadow motorcycle to dissipate shocked everyone around him, and everyone was stunned. When Chin Jinian walked to the elevator, the people who were standing next to him quickly moved out of the way and looked at him with envy and awe. Anyway, it was the clone. Chin Jinian let go completely and had no intention of hiding it at all. Feeling the surprised, envious, shocked, and inquisitive looks from the crowd, he felt a little relieved. No wonder everyone likes to show their holiness in front of others. This feels really a bit high. Chin Jinian felt secretly happy. If I were here, he would be 100% far away from Iron Dome, so he would put away the shadow motorcycle, and then pretend to be an ordinary person and enter here. But now that this is just a clone, there is no such scruple at all. The elevator arrived and I stepped into it, but no one around me dared to move. Boss, please first, someone smiled at Chin Jinian in awe, with a hint of flattery in his smile. Chin Jinian was not polite, nodded and thanked with a smile, and walked into the elevator. After he entered, others followed, but they all huddled at the edge of the elevator, leaving a large space around Chin Jinian. Then Chin Jinian looked at the elevator buttons, which were more than 100 floors up, but was startled for a moment. I didn't know which floor I was going to. In the midst of distress, the young man who just spoke to me asked enthusiastically and a little uneasily, Boss, which floor are you going to? Chin Jinian looked at him, then smiled and said, I want to leave the city, but I don't know which floor I should go to. Ah, the exit out of the city is on the 52nd floor. The young man replied quickly. Then go to the 52nd floor. Okay. The young man quickly and diligently helped Chin Jinian press 52. Chin Jinian didn't speak as the elevator went up, and no one in the elevator dared to speak. The more attentive young man wanted to speak, but seemed not to know what to say, so the atmosphere fell into an anomaly silence. Chin Jinian was fine, looking at the elevator curiously. But others felt a heavy pressure. This one was a superpower. Superpowers are very rare, and any one of them is an existence they need to look up to. However, the helmet on Chin Jinian's head was not retracted. The black helmet and the expressionless superpower made everyone feel extremely stressed. Someone got off the elevator early. After the elevator closed, he took a long breath and looked at the upward elevator. 
staying in a small space with a super boss. Dot the pressure is really extraordinary. He and his friends sighed. Yeah, I feel my heartbeat is speeding up a lot. Friends expressed their deep sympathy. Superpower. I wonder what this boss's superpower is. He looks so cool. He can actually manifest a motorcycle. Does it feel super convenient? I don't know what else can be realized. Dot can the airplane be realized? Isn't this impossible? If you can manifest a plane, dot you can make a lot of money just by taking a trip, right? The two of them walked away while having a somewhat excited discussion. When meeting friends, it is natural to have another discussion. When friends heard about it, they were naturally very surprised and quickly asked for details. Then there is a heated discussion about what the other person's superpower is. Superpowers are rare, and superpowers come in all shapes and sizes. Once some unusual superpower appears, it will naturally cause some discussion. So, it was obviously just a move to collect a motorcycle, but the news about a boss with rare superpowers came to the Iron Dome B-13 station, and it spread like wildfire. Comma. Of course, Chin Jinian didn't know this. The elevator soon reached the 52nd floor. He got off the elevator directly, and then the world in front of him suddenly became clear. This is in the middle of the Iron Dome. There are people on both sides. There are a large number of vehicles and machinery at work in the wide steel corridor, it looks very technological. Directly opposite the elevator, there was a big hole. Through the large hole, you can see outside the city. Soldiers with live ammunition were arranged in two rows. They were on duty. Anyone entering or leaving must show their ID to them. Chin Jinian's eyes flashed for a moment, and then he walked over. There were some people who got off the elevator with him, but now that Chin Jinian was around, they didn't dare to discuss anything unscrupulously. So no one on this floor really knew that he was a superpower. So when he walked forward wearing a black motorcycle helmet, many people looked at him curiously, thinking that his behavior was a bit weird. There seemed to be quite a few people queuing up to leave. Chin Jinian did not jump in line and just followed behind. About half an hour later, it was Chin Jinian's turn. The soldier on duty was stunned for a moment when he saw Chin Jinian wearing a helmet, then frowned and said, take off your helmet and show your ID card. Chin Jinian did not act on his words, but asked with a smile, I heard that superpowers have special privileges and can freely enter and leave the Iron Dome in various cities without registering, is that right? Ha, huh. the soldier was obviously stunned for a moment, and he didn't come back to his senses. Then, at Chin Jinian's feet, a mass of pitch black material protruded from the void, turned into a flame like thing, and entangled himself on his body. Superpower. What kind of superpower is this? This black substance. Everyone around was shocked by this scene, and they quickly retreated subconsciously, fearing that the ominous looking black substance would entangle themselves and cause terrible consequences. Chin Jinian, whose whole body was entangled in black matter, smiled at the soldier and asked, Isn't that right? The soldier was also shocked. He looked at the elusive black substance on Chin Jinian's body and swallowed. Superpowers, yes, there is no need to register. You can pass. As he said that, he and the few soldiers around him quickly took a few steps back and got out of the way. Thanks. Chin Jinian thanked him, then let the shadows haunt him and walked past the duty point of these soldiers and came to the entrance of the big cave. His every move attracts everyone's attention. There is a downward elevator nearby, through which you can reach outside the city. But Chin Jinian had no intention of taking the elevator. This feeling of being able to use superpowers at will makes him feel very happy when he is always careful when using superpowers during this period. Looking at the green mountains and green waters outside the city, Chin Jinian grinned. The next moment, he moved and jumped down. Even if you use the clone, you are still not wanton. When will you be wanton again? Chapter 101. The green mountains stretch and the trees are like forests. This is a world that has been inaccessible to humans for at least four to five hundred years. Pieces of forest trees are like layers of green canopy, covering the green mountains. Between the mountains are vast tracts of wilderness. The wild grass is deep in the wilderness, and flocks of birds are flying between the green hills and the wilderness. At this moment, there was a dark thing in the sky. He jumped up high, and then fell down again. When he was about to touch the ground, the dark matter rolled up violently and turned into a super-sized ball full of power. 
The spring suddenly exploded the moment it touched the ground. Woohoo! At the same time as the explosion, a small figure was directly thrown high into the air. In the process, bursts of cheers were emitted. The strong wind ruffled his black hair, but Chin Jinian felt an unprecedented sense of relief. It was even more enjoyable than when he was following the night watchman last time. Last time, he was worried about whether someone powerful among the night watchmen would discover him and cause unnecessary conflicts, so although he was quite comfortable playing, but I still have some concerns. But this time, he was completely open to the public. He didn't have to worry about anyone discovering him. He could use his superpowers completely and arbitrarily and enjoy this strange experience wholeheartedly. Who says you have to have a purpose to use superpowers? What is the serious purpose of playing basketball, football, etc? Isn't it just for fun? For Chin Jinian, basketball, football. It's too childish. I was just playing. It's a superpower. After jumping high into the sky like a soaring cloud, a strong feeling of weightlessness hit him. Chin Jinian didn't care at all. He stretched out his figure freely. With a thought, a set of tights wearing underwear and a black cloak suddenly appeared on his body. Superman. He childishly performed Superman's classic flying action, swooping down. Just as he was about to land again, the shadow on his body flashed and turned into an oversized spring attached to the soles of his feet. It explodes the moment it touches the ground. Take off. Boom. Amidst the loud noise, Chin Jinian's figure broke through the air, and a big crater was made on the ground. The black shadow on his body flashed, and he turned into a black Superman and soared into the sky. Call out. Superman got tired of playing, and at a certain moment he transformed into Black Spider-Man, the classic black spider suit. Dot dot. Although there is definitely a huge difference in details, it is so similar that I don't care at all. Simulating a whoosh sound in his mouth, a shadow tentacle suddenly pierced out and entangled a big tree hundreds of meters away. Then he manipulated the shadow to pull hard, leaping high into the air, and again in the air. Put on the classic Spider-Man look. It was a great time to play. Then, what is that? Chin Jinian is naturally not the only one in the wilderness. In fact, in these mountains and mountains, there are a lot of super martial artists who come out to hunt monsters. Most of them are teams of four or five people. They walk carefully in the mountains and fields, very afraid of disturbing too many people at once, monster. But the noise caused by Chin Jinian was really quite big, especially the roar of the spring falling to the ground when he soared into the sky, and the strange laughter in his mouth, which immediately alarmed many people. And when these people saw Chin Jinian, everyone felt a little stupid. Then everyone's eyes widened. That one just now, is a person, right? Someone asked his teammates with a dull look on his face. Not only a person, but also a, super boss. His teammates also looked blank. They heard with their own ears the hearty laughter high in the sky, and saw with their own eyes the figure passing above their heads. For a long time, they looked at each other, looking a little stupid. Quote dot dot dot, super powers are just for fun. In their impression, the style of a super boss should be mysterious, tall, noble, unsmiling, and unparalleled in power. There was no doubt that this big boss who suddenly appeared and used some kind of superpower they had never seen before, his style of painting was completely different from what they imagined. Or even completely subversive. No, don't the superpowers of the superpowers consume a lot of psychic energy. They are rarely used for combat. What kind of boss is this? Are you using your superpowers for fun? Some people had completely unacceptable expressions, and he couldn't help but scream out after being greatly stimulated. And this also reminded others, so everyone took a breath. Yes, Superpowers consume extremely spiritual energy. This is common sense. Why do most superpowers need to minor in super martial arts? Isn't it because superpowers consume too much spiritual energy? Although the explosion is terrible, it is often not long lasting, so it is necessary to supplement the super martial arts to ensure one's battery life. But what happened to this big guy? Outside the wilderness, not to kill enemies, but just to have fun, why do you use superpowers so frequently? When this realization came to mind, these people all took a breath. What level of boss is this? Everyone was stunned and looked into the distance. But that figure has disappeared. Comma. Chin Jinian, who was having fun, naturally ignored these people's thoughts. 
For him, the battery life of the Shadow Super Power was an issue that he had not considered at all. If it was just for fun, he could play like this all day long. He does not have a super core, but at the same time, his superpower does not consume spiritual energy. What exactly is consumed? To be honest, I don't know. There must be some consumption. For example, in the battle with his good sister Anomaly, didn't he pass out due to excessive consumption? But it's definitely not consuming psychic energy. Instead, it's more like energy. But this consumption of energy is not particularly huge. How to describe it? Well, it's like after a person has had enough sleep, he will definitely feel sleepy after a while. However, it was difficult for him to do anything that would make him sleepy immediately. Well, that's probably what it feels like. Using superpowers is like being awake to Chin Jinian. Fatigue will also increase as time goes by. Dot, but it won't make you sleepy all at once. Besides, so what if I'm sleepy? With Shadow Devour here, and in this world outside the city full of monsters, the battery life will be full in minutes. He was just immersed in such an indulgent moment and felt very comfortable. Bah, single quote. And at this moment, Chin Jinian, who was flying in the sky with his eyes closed and feeling the pleasure of falling freely, suddenly heard a deafening roar. He opened his eyes subconsciously, and then his eyes lit up. Not far away from the sky, a huge creature swooped down from the sky. It was a huge bird monster. Judging from its target, it has locked onto him. After being out of the city for so long, Chin Jinian jumped up and down in the sky again. Naturally, he saw a lot of monsters. But he ignored them and decided to have some fun first. Unexpectedly, he ignored them, but they came to provoke him first. Then there's nothing we can do. Your Excellency has a way to die. In free fall, Chin Jinian showed a smile on his face. The next moment, countless black shadows burst out from his body, sweeping towards the swooping giant bird. The sudden black shadow swept over, obviously startling the bird. It was originally swooping in, its wings expanded rapidly, trying to stop forcefully. This bird is extremely huge. Its wings spread out in an arc of at least more than 10 meters. Its feathers are blue-gray. Each feather is more than 30 or 40 centimeters in length. The feathers at the tip of the wings are even several meters long and extend. Going out, it's like a sharp blade. During the emergency stop, several short chirps came out of the mouth. But it stopped, but the shadow didn't. The shadow reaching level 2 extends to 500 meters, but the clone is only half that length. But it's completely enough. The giant bird was only 200 meters away from Chin Jinian. In an instant, the shadow thorns turned into shadows and hit the giant bird. But after the hit, Chin Jinian in the air showed a somewhat surprised expression, because he felt that the feathers and body of the giant bird were very tough. Although the shadow thorn penetrated, it was not easy, and there was an obvious feeling of resistance. Bah, in just an instant, the giant bird was riddled with holes, and bright red blood flew out instantly. But it didn't die immediately. Instead, it let out a shrill scream, as if its ferocity was aroused. During the roar, the feathers on its body suddenly lit up with a bright blue light. The next moment, there was only a loud bang. A ball of lightning suddenly shot out from its wings, forming a sword light composed of thunder. This vicious bird actually has superpowers. Chin Jinian was a little surprised when he saw the thunder blade coming through the air in the blink of an eye. Chin Jinian just thought, and a shadow wall instantly blocked the thunder blade. Boom, there was a loud noise, and the thunder blade hit the solid shadow wall, but it shattered instantly. Bah, the giant bird suddenly let out an unwilling roar, and the shadow thorns that pierced its body instantly softened into tentacles, entanglement, and its body suddenly tightened with strength, strangulation. The giant bird roared unwillingly, struggled in the air, and fell down. But in the air, his neck had been broken by the shadow, his pupils dilated and lost their luster. All this sounds slow, but in fact, Chin Jinian's body shape has been completed during the fall. Dot dot dot. A huge ferocious bird that controlled thunder and lightning died in the hands of Chin Jinian so easily. It can almost be described as a flash kill. Chin Jinian's figure was still falling, but when he saw the giant bird, he suddenly had a thought. As soon as he thought, a black shadow appeared behind him, and then suddenly spread out and turned into black wings several meters long. 
Then with a strong instigation, Chin Jinian's falling figure suddenly felt a huge buoyancy force appearing out of thin air, causing his figure to pause violently in the air. Hey, okay. Chin Jinian's eyes lit up. I never thought of turning shadows into wings before, until I saw this giant bird. Unexpectedly, it seems to work. His body fell again, and he quickly flapped his shadow wings again. The figure suddenly floated up again. Then Chin Jinian's eyes lit up. I completely ignored the falling giant bird and started researching new skills. The wings on the back are also constantly adjusting, sometimes bigger, sometimes smaller. The frequency of incitement is also adjusted from moment to moment. Chin Jinian just flew up and down in the air, like a toddler bird, stumbling. This is flying, the ultimate dream of mankind in previous lives. Chin Jinian's eyes glowed as he studied. Comma, comma. The following super martial artists, who had been alerted by Chin Jinian just now and had been paying attention to him, were all stunned at this moment. For a while, that's... Dot the Thunder Eagle, right? Someone asked with a trembling voice and uncertainty. It's a thunder and lightning eagle, one of the most terrifying monsters within a hundred miles outside the city. Someone swallowed and his voice trembled. Someone had attacked this thunder and lightning eagle before, and that time they even used stinger missiles, firing hundreds of them, bombing an area almost into white ground, but the thunder and lightning eagle only lost a few feathers. Instead, his ferocity was completely aroused. Then it went on a killing spree. Thousands of people died outside the city that day. Among them, even four fifth grade super martial artists. Someone murmured, I was there that day, but I was lucky. I hid in a cave and shivered, not daring to show my head. I saw the thunder and lightning eagle showing off its ferocious power until the super powerful military boss came forward. Only then did they intercept it. There was a big battle between the two sides, and no one could do anything about the other. After venting his anger, the thunder and lightning eagle left through the air. From then on, no one dared to attack this thunder and lightning eagle. He trembled all over. I didn't expect that it would come near Iron Dome again today. I didn't expect that it would actually. He looked stupidly at the area where the ferocious bird fell in the distance, and then looked at the black wings that suddenly sprouted in the sky, and the undulating figure, and he completely lost the ability to speak for a while. Such a ferocious bird with monstrous flames that had killed thousands of super martial artists and caused a huge headache to the military just died here silently. This result is shocking, and he was not the only one who was shocked. In this relatively deep area outside the city, the number of super martial artist teams probably exceeds hundreds. The battle took place at high altitude, and the noise was so loud that almost everyone raised their heads and saw this shocking scene. Then, the entire super martial artist team lost their voices. In the end, they only have one idea in mind. Who is this super boss? What kind of superpower is that black, unpredictable superpower? Why hadn't they even heard of it before? S level superpower. Such an easy to use superpower, such a terrifying lethality. It is definitely an S level superpower. Moreover, it has been advanced at least five or even six times. Who is this big boss? The night watchman, the military, or is it a powerful person invited by some consortium from outside? Countless super martial artists took action, took out their mobile phones, and asked friends of spirit communication for information, trying to find out who this big boss was. Some people even took out their mobile phones and excitedly took pictures high in the sky, because they discovered that the rising and falling figure in the sky seemed to be suspended stably in the air now. This is flying. Among superpowers, only a very small number of people have the ability to fly. Among them, some people were so excited that their eyes turned red. Because he took the video. The video of the entire process of killing the thunder and lightning eagle. When he spotted a figure, playing, with superpowers in the sky, as a young blogger who likes to shoot short videos, he immediately took out his mobile phone and recorded it. I thought this video would become popular if I posted it. After all, superpowers are still relatively mysterious in the minds of the public. Such a powerful superpower, simply, playing, in the wilderness in a manner that subverts the image of ordinary superpowers, can be said to be full of gimmicks and very eye-catching. Once uploaded, the video is bound to go viral. But I never expected that there would be an unexpected gain.
He actually filmed the scene where the opponent powerfully killed the Thunder and Lightning Eagle instantly. What else is there to say? If a video like this is not popular, then why is it popular? The video was shot because the person couldn't hold back his excitement. The video was not edited at all and was given a name. Hunting beasts in the wilderness, a super powerful boss suddenly appears. The whole process of instantly killing the thunder and lightning eagle. The whole process is high energy. All I can say is. Dot the boss is awesome. Choose a name and click upload. Just as he expected. This video, after a short period of fermentation, instantly became popular and set the internet on fire. In modern society, the speed of information transmission is beyond imagination. While Chin Jinian was experimenting with his new skills in the air, a short video spread across the internet at the speed of a wildfire. Holy shit, what kind of fairy boss is this? Is this a thunder and lightning eagle? A terrifying existence equivalent to a fourth grade super martial artist? Just die like this. What is that black substance? Isn't it terrible? This ability of thousand changes, myriad transformations, I'm so excited. My mother asked me why I was kneeling and watching the video, and I said I was watching the gods while riding a horse. Is this the daily life of a super boss? Suddenly I feel like the game I spent 300,000 yuan on is no longer good. Ah, I want to awaken my superpower too. I want to play like this too. Quote. With this level of spiritual power, the super core has evolved at least seven times. This is a super guy with rank seven or above. Our city's night watchman branch chief, I heard, is only a rank eight superpower. Blogger, hurry up, why don't you go up and lick a big guy like this? I'm so excited when I step on a horse. These super powerful tie pants are hot. Netizen comments were refreshed crazily. Some netizens with quick thinking instantly reposted the video and even added the video to their circle of friends, causing the video to spread like wildfire at the speed of a virus. Black Mysterious Super Power Candlin City's Mysterious Rank 7 Super Bosses, Suspected Latest S-Level Super Power, S-Level Super Power Inventory Along with the popularity of this video, related information is also rising like a rocket. Among them, the search rate for the speculation about the true identity of the mysterious rank 7 boss in Candlin City has increased crazily. Among the most popular news, some people said that it was a mysterious military boss because the first time he appeared was in Iron Dome. I was one of the first people who was lucky enough to see the big guy. At that time, the big guy's black superpower turned into a black motorcycle. When he entered the Iron Dome, the motorcycle melted. It turned into black smoke and disappeared. I was shocked at that time. I have never seen such a useful superpower. Unexpectedly, it was still shallow. This is a real boss. I regret not talking to the boss more at that time. A word. Someone came forward to speak out, and instantly received an explosion of likes, rising to a high position. He said that when the boss first appeared, he was right next to him, and this experience was enough for him to boast about for a lifetime. No, the other party is not a big shot in the military. It should be a big shot in the night watch. Because after this big shot left Iron Dome and entered the wilderness, the military on Iron Dome immediately notified the top brass, and the top brass were all there. Intensely discussing the identity of the other party. Don't ask me how I know. I violated the confidentiality agreement. Hey, the Wanjin Pavilion ID card I used. That's okay. Soon, replies from people suspected to be from within the military also rushed to the top. The end is coming. This is my true messenger of the end. We, witness the end. Then a weird comment came out. There was an explosion of likes and comments below. The church of the end. Um, let's circle the Candlin night watch. Didn't you kill all these people? Just a clown. The number of likes of the officially certified, Candlin night watchman, exploded. HMPH, you heretics, let me let you be arrogant for a few days. After a while, I hope you can still laugh. The end is coming, circled the night watchman and said with a sneer. Have you pretended to be here yet? Come on, tell me the coordinates. The night watchman circled. The end is coming means ignoring you. Some netizens noticed that there seemed to be a big melon. So some uninformed netizens began to ask what was going on, and then someone told them that the night watch entered a black market two days ago, destroyed the headquarters of the end, and even summoned the terrifying anomaly. 
Everyone was shocked for a moment. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There are many superpowers in this world. Why does this video attract so much traffic? It's because the super boss in the video is completely different from the super boss in their impression. The sounds of having fun in the air and laughing in woohoo were clearly conveyed in the video. This wanton, casual, and public attitude, coupled with the dangerous but relatively unfamiliar environment outside the city that ordinary people think is full of people's sense of involvement. Envious. And in the end, he killed a well-known terrifying beast in an understatement, which directly triggered this emotion. This extremely dramatic plot, coupled with the naturally eye-catching superpower, is very likely to be a new S-level superpower. There are so many explosive points concentrated in one place that as long as someone clicks in, they will be shocked. It's really hard to think about it or not. Comma, comma. Kanglin City Night Watchman, Sister Tong, this is the Zhang San, right? Tata looked at the video being played on the screen and swallowed. There was a bit of envy in her eyes. She is a psychic superpower and has extremely rare mind-reading abilities. In fact, she is already the envy of many people. Object. But at this moment, she was envious of the person in the video, because the superpowers of thousand changes and myriad transformations were really hot. If she could have, then she wouldn't have to buy any new clothes. With just a thought, you can create your own unique outfit, dot and you can change it every now and then. The purple-haired woman next to her, Sister Tong, frowned and looked at the scene in the video. A few minutes ago, someone suddenly noticed that a video of a super-powered person appeared on the internet. Because the main responsibility of the Night Watch is to deal with anomaly and transcendent, she was naturally informed. She was just casually looking at it, but unexpectedly, she saw an ability that was very familiar to her. Then, the video spread like a virus and is now the most popular on the entire internet. A total blast. This forced them to start paying attention. Where is Chin Jinian? She asked suddenly. Someone quickly answered. Chin Jinian is in the classroom of class 23, grade 3, number 5 middle school. On one screen, a surveillance picture even appeared quickly. It was the picture of class 23, the third grade of the fifth middle school. Zhang Yedong was a little silent. Sudden, Sister Tong, Bureau Chin wants you to go to his office. Someone said hello. Zhang Yedong came back to his senses, and then let out a breath. It seemed that Zhang San's matter had also attracted the director's attention. After all, being able to kill the thunder and lightning eagle at will, this kind of existence on earth, is quite terrifying. The vast majority of them will be subject to supervision. But just like that, Zhang San is an exception. After exhaling softly, Sister Tong stood up and went to the director's office. Comma. In fact, it wasn't just the night watch who was paying attention to him. In a large luxurious house in the city center, a man was staring blankly at the figure in the video. Suddenly, the phone rang, and he suddenly came back to his senses. When he looked at the phone, he was startled by the person calling him, but he soon seemed to feel normal again. He was silent for a while and then picked up the phone. Have you seen the video? On the phone, a trembling voice came. I saw it. Is it, the boss? I said no. Would you believe it? There was silence on the other end of the phone for a long time, and then he said bitterly, it turns out that the boss is so scary. According to the internet, he is at least a rank 7 superpower. Rank 7 superpower, his heart trembled violently. For him, let alone rank 7 superpowers, as long as he is a superpower, he is the existence he needs to look up to. But now, he inexplicably got in touch with the rank 7 super boss. Some of the previous thoughts in my mind disappeared in an instant. Just one thought. Thighs, you must hold them tight. Let's meet up some time. He suddenly said. There was silence on the other end of the phone, and finally a firm voice came. Good. The phone hangs up. Lu and looked at the video again, his eyes gradually becoming hot. Comma. Are you sure it's him? In another large house in the city center, a man covered in black robes and a mask spoke hoarsely. A video is playing in the room. It's not wrong. I won't admit this superpower. Another hoarse voice sounded. In the corner of the room, you can vaguely see a figure sitting there. Are you sure he's not from the Night's Watch? No, after I fought with him, I saw him also fighting with the Night Watchman. But I don't know why, he held back at that time. 
Judging from the fighting power in the video, he wanted to kill the Night Watchman, so he should it was just a matter of moments. But he didn't. Instead, he left on his own. These words made the man in black robe fall silent for a moment, and finally said, so you think you can win over him? I think there's at least a chance. The person in the corner said this after thinking for a while. I didn't expect it to be possible. When the video became a sensation on the internet, Chin Jinian, who was high in the sky, had a bright smile on his face. A pair of black wings about 6 meters long extended from his back. The huge black wings are like bird wings, even covered with jet black feathers. With a slight flutter of wings, his figure was completely suspended in the air. Achieved true flight. This made Chin Jinian excited and couldn't help but sigh again. Shadow superpower is indeed too convenient. From the current point of view, almost anything he can imagine that does not involve two professional fields, Shadow can almost perfectly simulate it. Moreover, the reality and reality come from the heart, the material comes from the heart, and the changes come from the heart. A word, from the heart. Does anyone understand how this is convenient? What exactly does it feel like to be in charge of such a superpower? Chin Jinian just wants to say. So cool. Not only is it fun to fight. It's really fun to play. The huge black, wings, flapped, and the huge buoyancy made Chin Jinian feel that the sky had turned into an ocean, and he was like a fish in the sea, able to fly freely. He became excited for a moment and couldn't hold it back any longer. He flapped his wings fiercely and his figure soared high into the sky, tens of meters, hundreds of meters, thousands of meters. In just a few minutes, everything below became smaller and smaller, and a scenery that could only be seen on an airplane suddenly caught Chin Jinian's eyes, making the smile on his face brighter. Isn't this superpower very useful? A large number of super martial artists who were paying attention to him below all witnessed this scene, and each of them turned into lemon essence, and their envious saliva flowed out. Then they saw Chin Jinian's figure flying up and down in the sky, his figure stumbling from the beginning to gradually becoming smoother. The speed and stability of his flight were visible to the naked eye. After playing in the air for a long time, Chin Jinian took a long breath and listened. He had a satisfied smile on his face. He was completely relaxed and having fun today. That's right, pray. Then, he remembered his prey, glanced downwards, and then the supervision brought by Dark Pupil, which was upgraded to level 2, allowed him to see the motionless corpse of the giant bird that fell to the ground at a glance. The next moment, his body suddenly swooped down, his wings folded, and he fell directly from a thousand meters altitude. The rapid feeling of weightlessness caused his adrenaline to secrete involuntarily and his heartbeat accelerated. But when it was about 40 or 50 meters away from the ground, its wings suddenly spread out. Boom! A strong sense of stagnation suddenly swept over him, causing his figure to stabilize in the air. Such a violent emergency stop, if it were an ordinary bird, there would be a risk of its wings being broken. But for Shadow, it was obviously not any problem, stop firmly. Chin Jinian grinned, then he flicked his wings, slowly sinking, and finally stood firmly beside the giant bird. The black wings melted into black shadows in the air, and finally gathered up and returned to his feet. The moment he put his feet on the ground, he actually felt a little weak in his legs. It's like stepping on cotton. After all, it was my first real flight, and it was normal to feel dizzy after landing suddenly. It recovered quickly. Then he breathed a sigh of relief, raised his head, and looked at the huge bird corpse in front of him. The bird's wingspan reached more than 10 meters in the air. At this moment, it died. The height of its body was more than 3 meters. In front of Chin Jinian, who was more than 1.6 meters tall, he was a giant. I wonder how many attribute points such a monster can bring me. With some anticipation in his heart, he took a deep breath and used Shadow Devour without any hesitation. The next moment, the shadow turned into a black cloth, covering the entire giant bird. The ground turned into a black swamp, and the giant bird began to sink into it at a speed visible to the naked eye. The speed of LV-2's shadow devour seems to be greatly increased. Chin Jinian thought in his heart. In less than a minute, the giant bird two to three meters high in front of him completely disappeared into the shadow devour. Shadow devour returned to the soles of the feet, 
and the next moment, a powerful force poured into the body from the soles of the feet, making Chin Jinian even couldn't help but moan. The panel refreshes next moment. You activate, Shadow Devour, swallowing the flesh and blood of powerful psychic creatures, attribute points plus 12748.12, shadow points plus 327. Divine body recovers a lot of energy. Closing square bracket. When Chin Jinian saw the data on the panel, his eyes widened and he took a breath. He had already expected that the monsters outside the city would probably bring him considerable attribute points. But he didn't expect, it was so impressive. It's just a monster, but it actually brought him more than 12,000 attribute points. And it's not just attribute points, there are more than 300 shadow points. He was shocked at first, and then his eyes suddenly brightened. Gradually, a big smile appeared on my face. This is undoubtedly a good thing that cannot be asked for. According to this efficiency, it won't take long for both mental and vitality to reach the current, first awakening too. Isn't this better than fishing every day in Ching Lake? Chin Jinian couldn't help laughing. Comma, comma, city no. 5 middle school, in the classroom of class 23, grade 3. Chin Jinian, who was lying on the table drowsily, could not help but have a smile on his face at this moment. In his mind, the image of the clone was right in front of him, and he was so excited that he couldn't help but smile. I adjusted my mentality and prepared to control the clone, to start the official hunting. Just at this time, what kind of magical superpower is this? Surprised exclamations came from the classmates around me. This sudden sound of surprise did not attract Chin Jinian's attention at all. Dot but other students looked over subconsciously. What's the situation? What's wrong? The classmate who exclaimed at first said, watch this video, watch this video. So a bunch of curious classmates came over. After a while, it's true that riding a horse is a god's superpower. This is what I imagined a super boss should look like. Ah, I'm so sad. Isn't this superpower so convenient? At the beginning of the video, when the big guy fell from the sky, was there an oversized black spring under his feet? Springs are nothing. When this big guy appeared outside the Iron Dome, his superpower turned into a black motorcycle. Nima, the thunder and lightning eagle died just like that. It turned into wings again. Lie, a series of sounds made Chin Jinian, who was originally concentrating on controlling the clones, couldn't help but pay attention. But after hearing a series of keywords like, black spring, black motorcycle, turn into wings, and so on. Chin Jinian was a little confused. Why does this stuff sound so familiar? He then subconsciously raised his head and turned his head to look over in confusion. I saw a bunch of classmates holding their mobile phones and looking at something. They exclaimed while watching, and couldn't help but discuss it with the classmates around them. Chin Jinian was a little confused. Until, he accidentally found his deskmate, who happened to take out his mobile phone and started reading. He glanced at the video content subconsciously, and then gradually widened his eyes. In the video, a figure was falling from a high altitude, but he made a strange cry of, woohoo. When he was about to land, a huge black spring appeared out of thin air at his feet, and the next moment there was a loud, boom, sound. The spring fell to the ground and exploded, and the figure rose into the sky again. The hearty laughter could be heard clearly. And then, a giant bird appeared in the sky and pounced on the figure in the air. A black substance burst out from the shadow body, and countless shadow thorns instantly pierced the giant bird. Then the giant bird launched a thunderous slashing figure. In front of the figure, a dark shadow wall appeared, blocking it easily. The giant bird fell, and the figure in the sky also fell, but at a certain moment, a pair of huge black wings appeared behind the figure, and he staggered into flight. Chin Jinian watched the video, his eyes widened little by little, and his face was confused. This is not, own, was the video taken. His mind instantly recalled the human figures in the wilderness when he flew up to the sky and looked down below. Among them, a few people seemed to be holding up their mobile phones. Quote dot 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 quote. Chin Jinian didn't know how to react for a while. After a moment of silence, he took out his phone and discovered, the first message pushed by his phone seemed to be about him. Outside the Iron Dome in Candlin City, a super boss suddenly appeared, instantly killing the rank 6 Thunder Eagle. The video is full of high energy. It is suspected to be the latest S-level superpower.
Quote dot 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 quote. My mood was a little complicated for a moment. He clicked on the news and read it silently. Only then did I realize that this video had already exploded on the internet in less than an hour. That video just now has over a million likes and is still rising like crazy. It has been retweeted more than 150,000 times, and it jumps almost instantly. The number of comments exceeded 30W+. Chin Jinian entered every popular short video app, hot news app, etc., and found that almost all of them were him. Among them, the most discussed is about his identity, what kind of superpower he uses, and whether he has reached S level. He advanced a few more times. Looking at the comments, almost everyone is marveling at the convenience and terrifying damage of the shadow superpower. It was also in these comments that I realized that the monster I killed turned out to be a rank 6 monster. He once caused huge massacres in Candlin City and killed thousands of super martial artists at once. Chin Jinian even saw a message suspected to be from the Final Church. In that message, the Final Church said that he was a true messenger of God. Chin Jinian was silent. Messenger, it seems that all the final believers in the last black market are basically dead. Otherwise, anyone who survives will know that not only is he not a messenger, but he is what they call a heretic. In fact, it was him as the messenger who caused their plan to summon the true God to fail, the Holy Seed to be taken away, and even the headquarters to be taken over by the Night Watch. Chin Jinian didn't know what expression to make. Does the evil church also need to be popular? Because later he discovered that in Gao Zan's reply, in addition to the Church of the End, there were other accounts named Yekshue Chengming and Red Lotus Eternal Life. They said in the message that he was the true God belonging to the other party, messenger. He also saw the bickering between the Night Watchman and Zan Yan, and finally saw the Night Watchman's words, come, tell me the coordinates. I almost laughed out loud. Sure enough, when online, no matter how serious an official is, they become ridiculous. It seems like the Church of the End still exists. There may be a headquarters somewhere, but there are always scattered believers. Chin Jinian thought in his heart. Then I couldn't help but think back to the final cult I had a brief encounter with in the black market. The other party also had the power of clones and could transmigrate space. He is an extremely terrifying assassin. Last time, there was nothing he could do against the other party. If we meet again, he thought for a moment, and then found out helplessly. Most likely there is still nothing you can do. After all, the other party controls some kind of space superpower. If he just wants to leave, Chin Jinian cannot keep him. After watching the videos one by one, more than half an hour had passed before he knew it. Chin Jinian let out a breath and put away his phone. The video is still on the rise, its popularity is exploding, and the number of comments is rising exponentially. I don't know what heights it will reach in the future. But one thing is certain. I have become famous all at once. To be honest, I feel a bit complicated. He showed a dumbfounded expression. After a moment, he shook his head. Fortunately, the video was very far away, and there were shadows covering it, so I couldn't see the face at all. I didn't expect that it was just a bit of fun, but it would cause such a big sensation. The faces of the clone and the original are exactly the same. As for the shadow helmet, he had already taken it off after he left Iron Dome. But fortunately, he also knew that his face was the same as his own, so he kept the shadow super entanglement on him all the time. Therefore, from the video, he could only see a figure with black matter entangled all over his body, but could not see it. Face. But the Night Watchman must know that this is, Zhang San. Then Chin Jinian began to think deeply, speculating on what kind of follow-up reaction the Night Watchman would have towards, Zhang San, and, Chin Jinian, after discovering this video. After all, Zhang San, had a face-to-face -face conversation with the Night Watchman. He even, threatened, the Night Watchman a little bit, to ensure that I would not be overly targeted by the Night Watchman. Now that, Zhang San, has been exposed, most people think that he is a rank 7 superpower. If a mission like this is put on the bounty list, the bounty amount will probably not be low. After all, I just read the comments and it turns out that many City Night Watch directors are just rank 8 superpowers. Rank 7 is definitely the boss among superpowers. Zhang San, exposed such strength, and hinted in his words that there is an organization behind him. 
it is bound to attract more intense attention from the night watch and is the only contact person who can communicate with the other party on the surface. I don't know how the night watchman will face him again. Chin Jinian's eyes flashed. After a moment, take a breath. Although the exposure of the video was accidental. However, Zhang San did it deliberately to expose some of his strength. He believed that if Zhang San revealed a certain level of strength, the benefits would outweigh the disadvantages for him. This was one of the reasons why he went to the Iron Dome Club so wantonly this time. Dot dot dot. He needs to let the Night Watchman know that he really has the ability to flip the table. The stronger, Zhang San, is, the stronger the forces behind him are, and the more secure, Qin Jinian, is. Taking a breath and no longer thinking about it, Qin Jinian thought and transferred his main consciousness to the clone. Outside the Iron Dome, Qin Jinian, who had stayed here for more than half an hour, let out a sigh of relief. Next, let's start hunting. With a movement of his body, his black wings expanded and flew into the air. Soon, he locked onto a monster wandering in the wilderness and swooped away. Three hours later, in the wilderness outside the Iron Dome, a figure covered in a black substance stood quietly on the ground. Beside him, dozens of huge wolf-like creatures were struggling. These giant wolves are more than five meters long, have ferocious teeth, are covered with gray fur, are thick and hard, and have strong muscles. There are also a lot of them, at least dozens of them. But at this moment, these giant wolves are all entangled with dark matter. These dark matter are like living creatures, entangled and tightened on them. Accompanied by the sound of cracking bones, these giant wolves were finally strangulated in place, and their entire body bones were shattered. The giant wolf died, and the black matter retracted like a living thing, and finally disappeared into the figure's feet. Then, another black substance spread out, covering the entire ground. The ground seemed to have turned into a swamp, and the corpses of giant wolves began to sink. Within a minute or two, all the giant wolf stones disappeared. It's like it never existed. Even the blood has disappeared. In the distance, some super martial artists were trembling as they watched this scene, with shock in their eyes. Rank 2's Gale Wolf Pack. Dot one face-to-face -face encounter and all wiped out, where did this big boss come from? It's so cruel. This black superpower makes me feel extremely uneasy. Quote dot 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 quote. They whispered, but no one dared to step forward. Now this area is about 500 miles away from Iron Dome. It is an area with an extremely large number of monsters and super martial artists. If you get closer to Iron Dome, the number of monsters will be much smaller. And further out, the number of super martial artists will be much smaller. At the midpoint, super martial artists who normally go out of the city to hunt monsters often have to stay for several weeks to more than a month at a time. Only in this way can they obtain good profits. After all, traveling out of town costs a lot of money. For most martial artists, monster material is their goal. But transportation also has costs. Even if you don't consider the cost issue, risking your life for a trip, you will end up earning tens of thousands of yuan per person, and you can't even afford genetic medicine. So what's the point of taking such a big risk? Therefore, super martial artist hunting often involves staying in the wilderness for a relatively long time. At this time, their information is often relatively obscure. After all, the battery life of mobile phones and the like doesn't last very long. Even if there is a long-lasting battery, it will only be used at critical moments, naturally it will not be luxurious enough to surf the internet in this area. Therefore, although Chin Jinian's videos are everywhere on the internet now, dot but these super martial artists are really unknown. Therefore, when I saw Chin Jinian at this moment, I was more shocked, but also a little wary. After all, this is the wilderness. Danger comes not only from monsters. Fortunately, Chin Jinian had no plans to take action against them. He was looking at the panel at the moment. You activate, shadow devour, swallowing the flesh and blood of ordinary creatures, attribute points plus 78.12, shadow points plus 3. Divine body recovery. You activate, shadow devour, Swallowing the flesh and blood of ordinary creatures, attribute points plus 58.32, shadow points plus 5. Divine body recovery. Looking at the prompt information on the panel, Chin Jinian, who was entangled by the dark matter, let out a breath. 
he looked at the attribute points. Attribute points. 31,585.39. Yes, more than 30,000. This is what Chin Jinian gained in the past three hours. To be honest, this harvest is a bit high and low. After all, a lightning fierce eagle gave him 12,000 attribute points. But now he is only over 30,000, which means in the next three hours, he has gained a total of more than 18,000 attribute points. That's a lot to say. But compared to a thunder and lightning fierce eagle that gave a start of 12,000, this harvest can only be said to be unsatisfactory. No wonder killing the thunder and lightning eagle instantly can cause a sensation on the entire network. That thing, even among monsters, is a powerful existence. However, no matter what, this is much better than Ching Lake. In Ching Lake, if you want to get so many attribute points, you have to catch many fish. Thinking of this, Chin Jinian laughed again. I feel like I'm a little too greedy. These more than 30,000 attribute points are equivalent to hundreds of mental powers for him. Others, if they want to increase their spiritual power, except for some abyss treasures, they can only meditate every day. Only by practicing hard can they improve by 10 or 8 points. In a day's work, he killed some monsters while playing, and easily obtained resources that could increase his mental power by hundreds of points. What else is not satisfying? Based on previous experience, the limit of the current personality's mental power is estimated to be 1000. The current mental power is 350. Every additional point of mental power requires 36 attribute points. Calculated from this, when the mental power rises to 1000, approximately 44,550 attribute points are needed. There's still a little more than 10,000 left. More than 10,000. One day, enough is enough. But, why wait until a day later? He grinned. The clone's survival time is almost up. But that is the duration of 350 points of mental power. And now, he had a thought in his mind. Add a bit. Comma. Attribute points began to be consumed crazily. His mental power began to surge wildly. When there are only 485 attribute points left out of 31,585. Chin Jinian's mental power also skyrocketed from 350 to 880, an increase of 530 points of mental power. The clone's survival time has also been increased from less than 6 hours before, to more than 14 hours. A smile emerged from the corner of Chin Jinian's mouth. Next, there will be plenty of time. Continue. With more than 11,000 attribute points, you can increase your mental power to 1,000. Not surprisingly, that should be the limit of the current personality. By that time, shadow control, you can upgrade again. Thinking of shadow control being upgraded again, he licked his tongue. Without hesitation, he turned his head and glanced at the super martial artist who was paying attention to him in the distance. He no longer hesitated. He moved, spread his black wings, and walked away through the air. After watching him leave, the super martial artists breathed a long sigh of relief. Looking at each other, comma, comma. However, when Chin Jinian controlled the clone and planned to continue looking for prey, striving to raise his mental power to the current limit today. Dot but at a certain moment, the clone suddenly paused in the air. There was a hint of astonishment in Chin Jinian's eyes. But soon, I felt helpless. So, the duration of the clone's existence is determined based on the clone's mental power at that time. After such a thought emerged, the figure in the air suddenly disappeared like a ball of black smoke. At the same time, one of the two images in Chin Jinian's mind in the classroom of number. Five middle school in the city center also disappeared. He was stunned for a moment, and finally let out a breath. Forget it, it's only a day or two anyway, don't rush it. Just take a little rest today. Looking at the students who were still having heated discussions around him, Chin Jinian felt mentally exhausted after hunting for most of the day. Now that the clone has dissipated, let's talk about it tomorrow. Thinking of this, he stretched his waist sat in a daze, and completely let go of his thoughts. Comma. And when Chin Jinian's clone dissipated, he relaxed his mind and enjoyed this rare moment of relaxation. Zhang Yetong's office at the Night Watch headquarters was suddenly violently knocked open. Zhang Yetong was thinking about something at her desk. The sudden movement made her frown and raise her head. The visitor was panting and said with an extremely ugly face, Sister Tong, something happened. When Zhang Yedong arrived at Ching Lake, 
she realized that the matter was more serious than she thought. The originally clean and tidy streets were already in ruins. A large number of trees seemed to have been broken by some giant object. Broken wood chips and branches covered the ground and extended all the way to the depths of Ching Lake. In addition, there are still a lot of battle traces left here. There are bullet holes on the ground, and there are cracks caused by the huge bombardment. Fires were burning in some places, with thick smoke billowing into the sky. A large number of cries and calls for help came from it. The police, medical staff, and even soldiers in military uniforms were sweating profusely in the ruins, carrying stretchers and digging out from the ruins people who were covered in dust and whose appearance was no longer identifiable. Some of these people had broken arms and legs, their bodies were covered in blood, and they were screaming in agony on the stretchers. And some were motionless, with only the slight rise and fall of their chests, as if they were dying. And these are alive. In this battlefield-like ruins, there are still a large number of corpses that have completely lost their vital signs. They stand on both sides of the ruins because they have no time to deal with them. Some of them even only have some stumps and broken arms. Ruins, cries, screams, sirens, were intertwined together to create a depressing and tragic picture. This is what Zhang Yedong saw after he came here. Her eyes were cold and stern, and her expression was solemn. Beside her, Lin Xiaoqi continued to introduce the situation in a low voice. According to eyewitnesses, the anomaly appeared very suddenly, suddenly emerging from the shadows, and then rioted. It eats people when it sees it. In just a few minutes, it caused huge casualties. Although someone reported the crime immediately, by the time Team Zhang and the others arrived, the casualties had already been caused. Team Zhang later moved against it. But, if it hadn't been for that one, Captain Zhang might have. Having said this, Lin Xiaoqi did not continue. But when he heard, that one, Zhang Yedong was startled. He looked at Lin Xiaoqi and frowned, who took action? He wasn't. Speaking of this, she couldn't help but look a little worried. Then you can't watch that monster hurt people, right? Lin Xiaoqi gave a bitter smile, but don't worry, Sister Tong, that person didn't take action for a long time, so it doesn't seem to be a big problem. Zhang Yedong subconsciously looked in one direction, and after a moment of silence he said, in this case, the anomaly can be considered as escaping from that man. Yes, Lin Xiaoqi looked solemn, this is the problem. Having said this, he paused for a moment before continuing, I just watched the surveillance here. I don't know how to describe it. Sister Tong, go and see for yourself, and then you can talk. Zhang Yedong frowned, a little confused. But after thinking about it, he didn't ask any more questions. He just nodded and the two speeded up. The area outside Ching Lake has been cordoned off. The blockade is very long and guarded by police and soldiers with live ammunition. The streets in the distance are filled with crowds of people watching, pointing and talking. They all looked a little worried. Lin Xiaoqi and Zhang Yedong quickly crossed the blockade and finally came to a police communications vehicle. Bureau Li, Lin Xiaoqi said hello. The middle-aged police officer who was talking to a few policemen with a solemn expression raised his head when he saw Zhang Yedong. After nodding, he said a few words to the policemen around him. The policemen turned around and went about their business, but he quickly came up to them and stretched out his hand. Hello, Mr. Zhang, thank you for your hard work. Zhang Yedong shook hands lightly with the other party and then said, it's all for business, there's nothing hard about it. Bureau Li, how's the situation? After a simple polite word, she got straight to the point. Very bad, Director Li shook his head, the casualties are huge. Although it is not the peak period at this time, there are still many people in the park. According to current statistics, the number of casualties has exceeded 5,000, more than one-fifth of them have died. The rescue work is still continuing, and the casualties will definitely expand further. At present, it is likely to reach 8,000 or even 10,000. Zhang Yedong was a little moved when he heard the number of casualties. This is definitely considered a serious accident. Then the anomaly hasn't been found yet. No, the other party got into Ching Lake. Your team Zhang and team Wang are exploring there, but they haven't found any trace yet. Director Li was worried. This anomaly is very offensive. If it is allowed to lurk like this, it will be a huge threat to the entire Kanglin city. Zhang Yedong naturally understood the seriousness of the matter and nodded lightly. 
Then he looked at Lin Shaoqi, who said to Director Li, Director Li, show us the surveillance footage at that time. Okay, just in the car. Bureau Li nodded quickly and immediately opened the door of the communication vehicle. The three of them got in the car. Bureau Li told the technicians inside to call up the surveillance video at that time. Lin Shaoqi's words were unclear. Zhang Yedong didn't know what happened, so he immediately looked at the video. The video was quiet at the beginning, and the Qing Lake Park in the picture was no different from usual. A clean and tidy street with lush trees on both sides and beautiful scenery. In the picture, many children and elderly people are walking and playing in the park, which looks peaceful. But at a certain moment, a dark existence suddenly emerged from the shadows on the surveillance screen. Zhang Yedong immediately looked over carefully, and then realized. The thing that emerged from the shadow looked a bit like, a kind of fish. But its size is extremely large. Moreover, the whole body is entangled with a black substance. The moment he saw the black substance, Zhang Yedong felt a sense of familiarity. This made her stunned for a moment. The next moment, a big change occurred in the video. This fish-like anomaly emerged from the shadows. And its body is astonishingly large, at least more than 20 meters long. In the black substance entanglement, people can't see the details of it clearly, but just this picture makes people think of a legendary mythical creature. Kun, there is a fish in the North Ming, and its name is Kun. The Kun was so big that it was unknown how many thousands of miles away it was, when it turned into a bird, its name was Pung. I don't know how many thousands of miles the Pung carries on its back, when it flies in anger, its wings are like clouds hanging from the sky. This anomaly looks very much like the legendary Kun. It swam out of the shadows, and the air seemed to be the ocean, letting it do as it pleased. Then, it opened its mouth, revealing a pair of extremely ferocious teeth. In an instant, he rushed towards the people nearby. What follows is a tragic scene. When the other party eats people, the image of the bloody limbs shattering and flying after one bite is extremely clear. But Zhang Yedong kept staring at the black substance entangled on Na Kun's body surface in the picture. Until he saw a person with a frightened face being rolled up by the black substance on its body and then pulled into his mouth, Zhang Yedong's expression became extremely ugly. The video continues to play next. This is not a monitor shot, but a composite of all the videos of this anomaly taken in Qing Lake, combined in chronological order. The Night's Watch arrives, fights it, and is defeated by it. That person took action and seriously injured it, and then it suddenly turned into a shadow, fled quickly, etc. Zhang Yedong kept watching, his face becoming more and more ugly. After the video was played, the information car fell into silence. Sister Tong, is this the superpower of, Zhang San? Lin Xiaoqi finally spoke. This was the key that he didn't know how to describe before. Although I haven't shown such extreme ability to change, but... Zhang Yedong closed her eyes. After a moment, she thought of something, took out her phone, and opened a video. In the video, a figure is jumping high in the air, and laughter can be heard from a distance. Under his feet, black matter condensed into a huge spring. Zhang Yedong looked at his phone while comparing the black substance on Anomaly Kun in the video. By the end, she was almost certain. It's the same. This video was just posted today. It should be. Zhang San. But he was outside the Iron Dome at the time, and there is no news of his return yet. Is this anomaly, really related to him? Lin Xiaoqi asked what Zhang Yedong was thinking after being silent for a while. After Zhang Yedong was silent for a while, he finally said, contact Qin Jinian. Lin Xiaoqi was startled for a moment, then nodded and took out her phone. Qin Jinian was on his way to the canteen when his cell phone rang. I played and fought with the clones for a long time today. Although it was very exciting and enjoyable, I was still a little tired mentally. Shadow Devour devoured a large number of corpses, but what Shadow Devour ate did not make his body feel full. He was slightly startled when he heard his cell phone ringing. He took it out, looked at it, and raised an eyebrow. It's an unknown number. I was a little confused, but I picked it up anyway. Hey, who's there? Chin Jinian. A clear voice came from the other end of the phone. Chin Jinian's expression changed. He recognized the voice. Sure enough, after the video was exposed, the night watchman couldn't sit still. Wonder what they're going to do next. He was thinking in his mind, 
but he asked doubtfully, Hello, who are you? There was silence for a moment, and then a cold female voice sounded, I am the night watchman Zhang Yedong. What's up? Qin Jinian paused and asked. Do you know where Zhang San is now? Zhang Yedong asked straight to the point. I don't know, Qin Jinian answered decisively according to the persona he had set up before. There was silence for a while, and Zhang Yedong's voice was calm. I asked you to join me, but you didn't seem to join me. Qin Jinian was silent and did not answer. Add me and I'll send you a video. Then, you decide whether to answer my question. Qin Jinian had a look of doubt in his eyes and posted a video, could it be a video of himself wreaking havoc outside the city? Let me watch the video. Before Qin Jinian finished speaking, the other party interrupted him, it's not the video of him outside the Iron Dome, it's another one, add it first. After saying that, the other party hung up the phone. Qin Jinian was startled for a moment, and after thinking about it, he became a little curious. What video? Will it be related to my clone? He took out his mobile phone, opened the instant messaging software, and added Zhang Yetong's friends. After seconds passed, a video was sent. Qin Jinian raised his eyebrows and clicked curiously. Then, he recognized this place at a glance. Ching Lake. He frowned. It looks like there is surveillance not far from the park entrance. What does it mean? Did they discover something through surveillance video? Qin Jinian suddenly frowned. He went to Ching Lake Park for several days in a row some time ago. But, he doesn't seem to have used his superpowers within the surveillance range, right? This is. Qin Jinian was a little confused and looked at it carefully. But just over 10 seconds later, Qin Jinian's expression suddenly changed, and his eyes were fixed on what appeared on the screen. A huge fish. It looks like anomaly. But what surprised Qin Jinian was, it was actually using shadow superpower. No one in the world is more familiar with shadow powers than he is. When he saw this big fish starting to kill people, using its shadow tentacles to catch people and eat them, he took a deep breath and his expression became a little solemn. Comma. The video is not long, only about 20 or 30 minutes. When the playback was completed, Qin Jinian slowly put down his phone and fell into deep thought. A few minutes later, he dialed Zhang Yetong's phone number. Seen it already? Um, are you willing to answer our questions? This must have nothing to do with Brother Zhang. Why so sure? Brother Zhang went outside the Iron Dome today. There are videos online to prove it. I know that video. Not to mention that the video of Zhang San outside the Iron Dome was taken four or five hours ago. He had time to rush back to Candlin City afterwards. Even if it wasn't Zhang San, how can you be sure? Isn't it the fault of the organization behind Zhang San? Quote dot 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 quote. Qin Jinian was silent, because there is no way to answer. You can't say that the so-called organization is completely made up by him, right? He pursed his lips, his eyes flashed, and finally said, Where are you now? I'll contact Brother Zhang. I believe this matter must have nothing to do with Brother Zhang, but he will definitely be interested. I asked him to go directly looking for you. This time Zhang Yedong was silent. After a long time. You are quite confident. Zhang Yedong's cold voice said, that Zhang San is a rank 7 superpower no matter what, do you think he will listen to you? There was a bit of doubt in the voice. But this question was difficult to answer. Qin Jinian could only remain silent for a moment, and then said, whether you believe it or not, I believe in Brother Zhang. Zhang Yedong was silent for a while and then said, I'm still in Qing Lake. If Zhang San is really willing to come, you can ask him to come directly. I'll wait for him here. After saying this, Zhang Yedong hung up the phone. Qin Jinian slowly put away his phone and frowned. An anomaly, mastering the power of shadow, is also killing people in Qing Lake Park. This is not a good thing for Qin Jinian, who also has the superpower of shadow control. He is very satisfied with the current situation, but if the night watchman decides that the shadow superpower is linked to anomaly, then he will be in great trouble. Thinking of this, he looked around, turned around, and stopped going to the canteen. More than 10 minutes later, Qin Jinian arrived at the school wall. After looking around, a thought occurred to him, and a shadow extended from his feet to a shadow outside the wall. The next moment, a figure spun around. It's the clone. After the clone appeared, 
he glanced around, and finally his figure quietly melted, turning into a shadow and blending into the shadow of the ground. Comma, comma, over there at Ching Lake. Zhang Yedong and Lin Xiaoqi had left the police communication vehicle and arrived at Ching Lake. Police, soldiers and night watchmen were everywhere around the lake. It can be seen that there are many broken hulls floating in the lake, and there are even some corpses floating there, but no one dares to go up and clean them up. In some places, there is even blood left. It can be seen that there were also killings when the big fish hid in Ching Lake. But now, it is peaceful. Zhang Yedong and Lin Xiaoqi came to a few night watchmen who were whispering and looking at the lake with frowning eyebrows. Seeing Zhang Yedong and Lin Xiaoqi, several people quickly said hello. Sister Tong, Sister Tong, Zhang Yedong nodded and walked over naturally. Several people automatically moved out of the way and surrounded her in the middle. She stood on the shore of the lake, frowning at the somewhat messy lake surface, turned around and asked, how is the situation now? It's still inside, and sensors have been deployed around it. Any psychic fluctuations will be detected immediately. The middle-aged man with a cigarette in his mouth but an entanglement bandage on his waist with blood still in it replied. Zhang Yedong nodded, then looked at him, how is the injury? The middle-aged man smiled indifferently, I can't die. Zhang Yedong didn't say anything more, nodded and asked, you have fought against it, how did it feel? What level of anomaly is it approximately? It's equivalent to the top of rank 6 to rank 7, very strong. The middle-aged man said simply, especially because of its abilities, which can be unreal or real. Thousand changes, myriad transformations. If it weren't for its lack of intelligence, I would probably be dead by now. These crisp words made Zhang Yedong silent for a moment. Then he nodded to show that he understood, then turned his head and looked at the lake and pondered. After a moment, she said, waiting like this is not an option. It was seriously injured by that person and is definitely not in a good condition now. It will be very troublesome if it recovers. We have to find a way to force it out. Where is Luo Luo? Luo Luo is on vacation during this period and went outside the Iron Dome. I have contacted her just now and she is on her way back, but it may still take a while. One of them said quickly. Zhang Yedong frowned when he heard this, but after a moment he could only nod his head and said nothing more. Luo Luo's superpower is, miraculous in driving away anomaly. After a few more discussions, Zhang Yedong asked them to guard everywhere to prevent any accidents and to deal with them as soon as possible. The crowd dispersed, only she and Lin Xiaoqi were left again. After waiting for a while, Lin Xiaoqi suddenly said, Sister Tong, do you really believe that Qin Jinian can call Zhang San here? Zhang Yedong looked calm and said, Can we wait and see? If that Zhang San is, as he said, neutral and lawful. Sister, criticizing others behind their back is a very dishonorable thing. Before Zhang Yedong could finish her words, a hoarse voice sounded behind her. She was startled for a moment, then subconsciously turned her head and saw a figure. At some point, it appeared in the shadow of a big tree not far behind her. The black shadow body is entangled with the same black substance as the fish-shaped anomaly. This black substance blocks his face, making it difficult to see clearly. Zhang Yedong's eyes narrowed, and after a moment, she said thoughtfully, it seems that you really value Qin Jinian. Are you here so soon? It had only been more than half an hour since she called. Zhang San, seemed stunned for a moment, and then said with a half smile, no need to test, I have indeed been back to the market for a while, and I do value Qin Jinian very much. But Anomaly has nothing to do with me. His thoughts were revealed, but Zhang Yedong's expression did not change. Instead, he said, oh, you guys use the same extremely rare superpower. You say it doesn't matter. How can I believe it? She looked at Zhang San with a serious gaze. Believe it or not, it's your business. Zhang San did not accept the move. He shrugged. I came here just curious to see what this anomaly is about. Zhang Yedong was silent, looking at Zhang San without saying anything. Zhang San didn't speak either. The atmosphere was tense for a moment. After a long while, Zhang San said with a smile, if you night watchmen have determined that this anomaly is related to me, then I will leave. You think you can get away? Do you think you can keep me? The two suddenly became tit-for-tat, but after the sudden tit-for-tat confrontation, there was another period of silence. 
In the end, it was Zhang Yedong who turned around first and looked at Ching Lake, the fish-shaped anomaly is in Ching Lake. I believe that the anomaly has nothing to do with you, but you have to prove it to me. I don't have to prove anything to anyone. Zhang San, said leisurely, I come here just because I want to come. Zhang San's words made Zhang Yedong frown slightly. She turned her head to look at Zhang San, with a cold look in her eyes, and said seriously, I'm not joking with you, nor am I discussing with you. Then Anomaly has exactly the same superpower as you, and so far, it has caused thousands of deaths and nearly 10,000 injuries. This is already a major accident, and it was caused by Anomaly. It needs to be reported to the Night Watch headquarters. And as someone who has the same superpower as that Anomaly, you don't really think that you can sit back and relax because you can't find direct evidence, do you? Let me tell you clearly, if you can't prove that it really has nothing to do with you, Believe me, this is not a good thing for you, or even the organization behind you. Your superpower may indeed be considered powerful, and rank 7 is indeed not low. But the world is very big, and there are too many powerful beings that are beyond your understanding. Superpower rank 9 is just the starting point. That's all. So, you think about it for yourself, whether you want to continue to insist on your current attitude with me for no reason. If you still have this attitude that has nothing to do with you, then you can leave now. I am still busy here. Quote. After saying this, Zhang Yedong withdrew his gaze, no longer looking at Qin Jinian, but towards Qing Lake. Zhang San, in the distance was silent. After a long while. Sure enough, you have to rely on the official. Dot you have to be tough when you say it. Zhang San sighed, and then Zhang Yedong heard him smile lightly. In that case, I won't bother you. Whatever the night watchman has planned, I'll take it. After saying these words, which made Zhang Yedong's expression change slightly, Zhang San turned around and seemed to be planning to leave. Hey, what are you doing? It's a good chat. Well, Mr. Zhang, wait a minute, we didn't mean that. The handsome young man who had been silent until now spoke decisively at this moment. Zhang San paused for a moment and turned his head slightly, oh. That's not what you mean. What does that mean? Mr. Zhang, you also know that your superpower is a very rare one, right? And today this anomaly is using the same ability as you. He is in a different place, and it's you. Would you doubt it? Zhang San was silent for a moment, and then chuckled, maybe. But I'm sorry, I am not a night watchman after all, and my position is different, so I'm sorry that I can't empathize with you. There is no reason for me to have to prove it to myself just because of your suspicions. Quote. After saying that, he looked at Zhang Yedong, who had his back turned to him, and said calmly, we don't want to be enemies with the night watchman, but the premise is that the night watchman don't provoke us for no reason. As I said that day, we can it can be lawful neutral, but it can also be chaotic evil, we can all do it. And where we stand specifically depends not only on our own attitude, but also on whether someone is forcing us, this. Sister Tong, right, this is the second time. The last incident regarding the final church, as an intelligence provider, even if I had the intention of borrowing a knife, it was still considered a success in allowing you to destroy a branch of the final church. I don't take credit, but it was still considered a success. Cooperation, right. But then you kept checking me, as if I was some heinous person. I can understand that your night watch, as an official transcendent organization, hopes to control all threats, so I also made it clear later we expressed our position. We are just a group of people who want to live peacefully and relatively freely. We have no ambitions and no intention to subvert anything. So I even gave you a channel to contact us, just to avoid any misunderstandings. Quote. When I came this time, you thought I valued Qin Jinian. But in fact, it was because you called Qin Jinian that I rushed over. I thought I expressed goodwill, but you seem to be you misunderstood, you seem to think this is a good opportunity to take advantage of me. If that's the case, then I have to say sorry. I'm afraid I have to disappoint you. We are happy to be friends with the Night Watch, provided that the Night Watch has the same vision. If the Night Watch insists on forcing us to become enemies, then we can also play the role of good enemies, and we will not let you down. So, friend or foe, you decide, I also can. After Zhang San finished speaking calmly, the scene suddenly fell into an anomaly of silence. 
Zhang Yetong's face was a little ugly with his back to Qin Jinian, and his brows were furrowed. Lin Xiaoqi beside her also frowned and her eyes flashed. After a while, in this case, our suspicion is wrong. Zhang Yetong's voice finally sounded, and she turned back to look at Zhang San, staring at him. You are right to doubt. That is your problem. It is up to you to judge. I can't force you. But what I should do and what I want to do is also my business and it is up to me to decide. You, can't force it. Zhang San's tone was still calm, but although his tone was calm, his words were tit for tat and he would not give in an inch. Quote dot 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 quote. Zhang Yedong fell silent again. Seeing her expression, the young man said quickly, Okay, okay, let's talk about it. Dot dot. Sister Tong, I actually think it is unlikely that this anomaly is related to Mr. Zhang. Dot dot. Otherwise, he won't as for rushing over as soon as you receive the news, right? Mr. Zhang, please calm down. To be honest, we night watchmen are under too much pressure. All kinds of anomaly, evil churches, and transcendent incidents have to be dealt with by us. Processing. Just for the past few days, the last follow-up processing work of the Church of the End has been going on, but it was not smooth. These people are really good at hiding. As the deputy director, Sister Tong is under a bit more pressure. Please also ask please forgive me. The young man became a peacemaker and spoke softly. Zhang Yedong frowned and looked at the young man, but ultimately said nothing. After Zhang San's eyes flashed for a moment, his tone softened a little, is that so? That's understandable. The responsibilities of your night watchmen are indeed not light. Qin Jinian didn't want to be picked on, but he didn't really want to fall out with the night watchman. Compared with the night watch, Qin Jinian is still too weak. If given the choice, he would not really want to be his enemy. But Zhang Yedong was too aggressive just now. If he really got into her rhythm, Qin Jinian would be eaten to death. That was not what Qin Jinian wanted. But now that the other party's attitude has softened, Qin Jinian can't really be unyielding. Just give me a step and go down. Can you really fight with the Night Watchman? If he was really targeted by a scary boss like the Night Watch, he would die without even knowing it. He has not forgotten the night when that indescribable thing paid attention to him. If it hadn't been for the panel, he would have been. Suddenly, his expression was startled. Wait a moment. Indescribable, attention. He blinked, and his mind suddenly recalled the situation that day. The evil young man was killed by him in a sneak attack, and then an anomaly popped up in his mind. When Anomaly saw his superpower, his first reaction was disbelief, and he even said something like, it is impossible for humans to control the power of shadow. Then, the Anomaly seemed to have doubts about who he was because of the shadow. At that time, he wanted to get information, but Chin Jinian asked him to speak. But in the end, he heard nothing and his mind was roaring. Then, the indescribable thing cast its gaze. Next, the anomaly had black hair all over her body, and the black hair even extended to Chin Jinian's shadow, causing the shadow to lose control for a time, and finally fell into a coma. After waking up, everything was strangely calm again. But, dot the anomaly disappeared, and the body of the evil young man disappeared. And disappeared at the same time. There was also a big herring that he had planned to bring to Ning Ning. At that time, he thought that the anomaly had done something to specifically summon the attention of that indescribable existence. But when I thought about it carefully later, I always felt that something was strange, because the other party's expression at that time was not determined and crazy trying to drag the opponent to death together. Instead, it was an emotion of shock, fear, despair, regret, and the like. The emotional incoherence seems to indicate that the indescribable existence's attention is something that the other party did not expect. It may even lead to consequences more tragic than death. And the most critical point is, he once lost control of his shadow powers. He didn't feel anything at the time, but this time as the shadow superpower was upgraded to LV2, he had some strange feelings. It seems that the ability to control the shadow that was taken away from him at that time seems to be very similar to the power of the shadow. It can even be said to be the same kind of power. It's just that that power is far more powerful than him. At this moment, I think of the situation Anomaly was in before it attracted the attention of something unspeakable. Is it possible that the other party regarded me as that indescribable being? So, 
Did he inadvertently say something that attracted the attention of the indescribable being? And the indescribable existence it mentioned, controls the power of shadow he mentioned. And this fish-shaped anomaly now is exactly the big herring that disappeared from the snakeskin pocket at that time. It was contaminated because it received the attention of an indescribable thing, and turned from a corpse into an anomaly. Chin Jinian looked around again. Ching Lake. Yes, if all my guesses are correct, then it is normal for the other party to appear here. Because this is its home. After it died, it turned into an anomaly and returned home. Forehead. What is this? The first seven. Single quote. Calculate the time. It seems, it's really about the same. Chin Jinian swallowed. So, dot dot dot. Is it really possible that this anomaly appeared because of me? I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.